I love the response. Everybody's like, hell yeah, let's go. Like, everybody's so excited. It's like, hey, we removed the splinter from your urethra. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's like, hell yeah, boys, big W. It's like, well, they put it there to begin with. So, I mean, like, hey, bro. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome to the welcome, podcast. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the podcast where we talk about all the poggers things in life. Like? Like movies, video games, and content creation. I'm your host, Jesse Kazam. <laughs> and I'm... Veritas. I don't know. I was trying to think of something. Nobody would, nobody would be able to tell the difference from a normal fucking That's podcast. True. That's true. I mean, people already say we look exactly the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Yep. I literally I literally was thinking, like, I don't actually know, even know the intro. You've said <laughs> it so many times, and I couldn't tell you what it is. I think I got it. What did I miss? Uh, that was it. I'm, I mean, that was pretty much it. Welcome to the podcast, a show where we talk about the Poggers in life. Where the points are made up. Yeah. The, yeah, made up and the, points, don't the points don't matter. Oh. And I remember back originally, it was like with a heavy focus on Escape from yes. Tarkov. And then it was like with a, with a focus on yeah, Escape from it Tarkov. Was like, and then it was <laughs> You're so right. It was with a heavy focus on Escape from Tarkov. And then it was all the Poggers things in life like this, this, and Escape from Tarkov. And then it was just music content creation of video games, I think. And, you know, life beyond Escape from Tarkov. Um, <laughs> moving past. Oh, my God. That's funny and very true. <sighs> What's up, man? How you doing? <laughs> oh, dude, just fucking just great. Just dandy. Just great. Oh, dude, I just unlocked a new preset in Arena after 800 billion hours, and I'm instantly, like, hate my life. Yeah. I just I don't like it. I was like, it's, there's no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, on paper, this kit seems sick. It's the foul with... Sorry, not the foul. The scar, three hundred eight with M sixty two. Yeah, Gen four. Uh, I think it oh. has the airframe. Airframe with maybe I don't know one of the tan helmets that yeah. has ears, okay. not active headphones, but like ear. Yeah, protection. ear protection. Yeah. Um, no face shields, and one of the mags has M sixty one. The rest M sixty two, and it also comes with an L can. Um, and literally the fact that it has no face shield and no active headphones in my opinion renders it useless oh yeah like also it doesn't like it, do, it it not only doesn't have the rack headphones but it has no headphones no headphones l so <laughs> so it's like if if i am not going to be able to hear at least give me a fucking wrist tee and alton yeah a, yeah something yeah something. yeah some sort of face um, protection yep but yeah, like it, and and it's got a decent amount of recoil, which, yeah, is isn't a big deal if you're like rushing up. Yep. But but like across even like equator, you know, like this one of the smallest yeah. maps, if not the smallest map, it's like can be too much to accurately hit For full sure. auto. Like I feel like the foul even has less recoil. I thought I thought all the guns were laser beams now. That's what yeah, I heard on Twitter. Should. Every gun's a laser beam after the recoil you update. <laughs> You should see my clips from the last couple of days, dude. Yeah. Like, I swear to God, there's like a cheat out there that's like anti-magnet for my crosshair. <laughs> I, ha- I have like half a dozen clips where you see I'm shooting the MP9 or the MPX and you see... <laughs> dude, I'm not even exaggerating. It I goes like this. Feel that. And, and it's like... And if you were to slow it down, it's bullet, bullet, yeah. bullet. Bullet, <sighs> dude. Bullet. I feel that so deeply in my heart. I felt that so many times. Yeah, and you and and, and and you're like, you know, even a slow a slow firing gun in Escape from Tarkov is like six seven hundred rounds per minute. And you're like, is that even possible that a human being could just walk in between a, like an uninterrupted line of fire? <laughs> Yeah, no, and that's what makes it so crazy. Like, uh, it seems like I'm like it's either a cheater or I'm the least luckiest person in yeah, the yeah. fucking arena. Um, but you know what's really interesting is there's so there's like nine bugs, dude, combined together to make the game far more confusing and frustrating. Um, that so <sighs> like okay, so 
first of all, like like the blood splatters and stuff is client side. Yeah. Um, the third the, party, the, third person animations, like when someone's like aim punched, that's client side. Yep. And then when you see the kill cam, there are no animations. There's no aim punch. There's no vision blur. So it just looks oh, like they're yeah. not. They're, and there's no reaction to being hit. So it looks like you're not hitting them because they that. just go. Bah, 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 even though on their screen, they're doing this. Um, yeah. And then you have your vision blur. And then you have a bug that's not super uncommon where sometimes in arena, you'll see zero hits when you okay. are fighting somebody. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't say anything. It's not. It's just it, you see like they hit you three times and then there's nothing underneath. Now, Interesting. that happens, I think, I have an example, I have two examples where, because I've been noticing that forever, I'm like, I don't know, I just said no hits, like, that's crazy, because I will see on my screen, like, I yeah. hit a ton of bullets, um, but then if you actually look at the kill cam, and I have to have a kill cam for my kill cam, I'm recording my clips to look at them again, Yeah. Uh, recording the kill cams, and you realize a decent chunk of time, the name of the person you're spectating in the kill cam is not the person. It, it the, the the card is wrong. Oh, so like you'll be looking at a guy using like an AK-74, and it'll show the username of a guy that's using a different gun. It, it's like the wrong person. So there's no hits because you never had an engagement with them. So it's just pulling up the wrong like nameplate yeah. over the person you're fighting. Um, and then because of the vision blur. You, like you're thinking you're hitting so between the vision blur the flashlights the yeah. recoil the the kill cam the numbers they show on screen you're like i hit him 900 times and he didn't die but yeah. then if you watch then if i like rewind to before the kill cam and i watch it's bang 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 and i'm actually missing all of the shots yeah but the game does everything to make me think that i'm yeah. not missing yeah 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 yep so it's like it's like it, in other games in like CS well I CS2 I think has had some issues with this kind of stuff but like if I'm playing CS I'd be like I must have whiffed every shot. Yeah. Because first of all like I I feel like the bullets either have or like they're all tracers. I'm not really sure. I, I can't remember but you know like if I have an AK and I'm yeah. like full auto spraying and I'm trying to like follow the spray pattern I can tell that I'm missing all of my shots yeah. and none of them are hitting. Tarkov just makes you think whether it's Height over bore plus vision blur yeah, yeah, plus yeah. recoil plus and there's and there's like a correct me if I'm wrong because once again I've never played a day of CS in my life but would you say that a part of your confidence when you like spray a guy and they don't die like you say man I'm just I must be whiffing is a part of that confidence or is a part of you feeling that your confidence in the game and its accurate representation of what's happening. Like, you know what yes. I mean? Like, you can trust CS. Like, it hasn't given you... And, of course, every game, you get that moment where you're like, I thought I hit that guy. But, like, on the whole, over your hundreds or thousands of hours of CS, you feel like you can trust what the game is saying. So, when you feel like you're shooting at a, at a guy and you're missing, you then go, I must be whiffing. Whereas yep. there's no trust that what I saw in Tarkov was what happened. You know what I yep. mean? Like, and, and so... It's so much easier. We've talked about this with like the cheater and all that confirmation bias, but it's so much easier to just be like, this game sucks. Or it, it's so much easier to put it into something else because we don't like to admit we whiffed. That's a bad mm -hmm. feeling. And the game opens a, a crack. Like it could be this bug. It could be this bug. It could be this bug. It could be that bug. It could be this bad feature. It could be that bad feature. And so it's it's always like this freaking game. You know what I mean? Even when it is a whiff. But then what's interesting about the difference between Tarkov and Arena is Tarkov, there is no kill cam. So you can kind of get away with it. You can just be like, ah, whatever. But if in Arena there's kill cam, you would think that would be the place where you could be like, oh man, I whiffed my shots. But if that's not giving you an accurate representation of what happened, then it's even, it just doesn't. Oof. Yeah. 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 I'm coming out with another video. Um, I already did the other arena video. Yeah. We can talk about after. Um, where I have a list of like 40 bug fixes, improvements, UX stuff, gameplay stuff that they just need to add. Like I'm just yeah. going through a fucking list where it's like boom, boom, boom. That's sick. Um, and one of them is like the kill cam is inconsistent in seven ways, and 
that's it's worse. It's 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 causing us to trust the game less. Yeah. Um, because we think we can trust the kill cam. Yeah. Uh, so because we think we can trust the kill cam, and the kill cam shows us something that yeah. isn't reality. It's it's uh it's not what happened for anybody. Yeah. Um, it's misleading. But yeah, like and and see the. At, at different levels, a, a game like CS, it's common that people will like blame the game, um, but that's because like in CS you are heavily penalized for shooting while moving. Mm. In Tarkov, the bullets, other than like accuracy debuffs, yeah, of yeah. ammo or whatever, the bullets will always you know pretty much go yeah where your uh, barrel is pointing. Yeah, in CS, if you just tap a or d right and you go to shoot an ak the bullets are just interesting so so the the meta is you strafe and then you have to tap the opposite strafe oh so you're holding a a d click so you interesting stop. you like cancel the move momentum you had the bullet is 100 percent accurate first shot if you're not moving yeah 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 so that's why people will like jiggle you know and they'll like Tap yeah. the other way, and right when their velocity is zero, you click. Interesting. Um, and that's what makes games like Valorant and CS, it, they're so hard to get into because Tarkov, yeah. you can kind of just like hold W and D, and just you just need to adjust yeah. your mouse. For sure. If you yeah, do that, if CS, anything, you will uh, lose every fight. Tarkov incentivizes movement while shooting as long as you stay in a consistent direction. If you AD, AD, you're going to be like this. But if you just boom, hold an A strafe. Your barrel's pretty consistent. You know what I mean? So yep. just like either be sitting still, crouched, prone, or moving in one direction. You know what I mean? And and, and that's super viable. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, that's that's like the new <laughs> the new thing. Um I I've I've been struggling lately. We, today we were playing. The the only way to have like a ton of fun. Yeah. I want to say reliably, but it's not reliable. It's I would say like 75% of the time is when me and all the homies, we all jump on our alt accounts. Like, I bought yeah. a, a, an arena account, and we just jump on that, and we play, like... Every few games, we're playing people who are good. Like, yeah, for sure. Um, But it's just a lot more fun to, like, run around with low-level kits against... Even against players who are yeah higher geared. There's a threshold where, like, Tier 3 versus Tier 5 isn't bad but like four against six is impossible but like five oh. against seven is isn't bad but like yeah you yeah know. i know exactly um, what you're talking about because it depends on both tiers tier yep. three isn't good enough tier five is really really good but tier four is good enough to compete so four against six is okay that's yeah that makes a it, lot of sense yeah dude it's rock paper scissors in in between tiers and within tiers yeah so like we were playing against people who were all like b tier c plus which is like I'm C plus. Yeah. I'm like thirty four hundred ARP. Um, and we've been playing against people who are like B plus, like four five thousand ARP. Um, yeah. And when they're running the wrist, uh, the wrist T Alton kits, they literally do. Every time I fucking pick up the wrist T and Alton, I just shift W, run around, and I just know someone's gonna peek, and I just walk through the bullets, aim, and blah blah blah, and it's like, yeah. oh, I just, I just win. Whereas if I'm running anything, I need to hit that first headshot, otherwise I die. Yeah. Um, it, but um, but yeah, running against those guys, it's kind of a coin flip of whether or not I'm going to be having fun. The moment we were playing against a bunch of dudes who were running on our alt accounts, um, I had the MPX kit with Quake Maker. Okay. Which, like, it would be great if it had fucking AP, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> if it didn't have a leg meta. Um, yeah. and we were playing against like some of the dudes with the high tier, like Val kits, um, the AUG, a few of the other things like high, high tier shit, like running tier five armor helmets. Yeah. And, but none of the ones with face shields and I fucking top frag, get like 13 kills, yeah. like completely owned. It's like, oh, okay. Because there's like some way to counter it. But when it takes five bullets to the leg, the same leg, one leg to kill somebody, they have M sixty one and M sixty two, and I have no, like, literally no armor. And if they're pre popped, then that you know, then shooting them in the leg, that first shot that would have blacked their leg, it's not really a yeah. big deal. They peek, put the dot in my general vicinity, yeah. mouse one, and 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 they will kill me before I kill them. Yeah, and I have, to, I can only hit them in the leg. 
Yeah. So, yeah. It's, yeah. Oh. But today we are on our main. We are on our main, oh, okay. and basically there's fucking 10 people in the world that we can play yeah, I was about against. To say, is it still you just playing the same teams over and over again? Yep. Yeah, it's like, and, and it's alternating between, like, today it was alternating between teams that either had stream snipers. Um, Like, we could literally hear one of the... Because we were facing a group of of dudes where a couple of them were streaming, and okay. and some one of my viewers clipped. The guy was like voiping. I don't know if he was voiping or if it was in Discord. I'm not sure, but basically he was like, "Oh, on this guy's stream, he's like over here." I'm like, so on. Now the guy who was streaming, he wasn't the one making the yeah, callouts. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like. The teammate was making callouts when it was like a one v one, you know, or whatever. Damn. Um. So, so that was neat. And then now we're in. We're starting to get into. Uh, it was like three day delay on when the accusations started to come out in full force. Where, oh. where, uh, you know, a, a few days back, like half a dozen people came in and were like, "Pestily just rage quit a stream because of." Uh, cheaters and a bunch of other people are starting to talk about cheaters i don't know uh, uh, but in tarkov itself oh interesting and then all of a sudden we had a day where it was like six fucking games in a row the same few cheaters really yeah and there were a lot of cheaters who were top 10 in the leaderboards that people were talking about i never played against them but then they got banned but now they're back um and we yeah i've got some clips of some <laughs> sus ass folks even at lower levels too dude um people who play like bots they just walk yeah. around kind of like aiming at the ground and then you see them line up at a wall and yeah. go whoop, and there's just a head there and it's like come yep. on now with an alt in across the map it's like what's the did they did he hear does he know the line he he's he's so good that he knows the the yeah. right lineup for that particular angle at the right time yeah but he also has the worst crosshair placement and movement I've ever seen. You know, so that's what, dude. I man, I like, I, I mean, I know. Never mind. I was gonna say some. It's like th when you have the kill cam, it's fun to use. We've talked at length before how like a kill cam in Tarkov wouldn't be an insta solve. You know what I mean? It wouldn't just be like every time. But when you have it, it is fun to use it, right? Where you're like, you see a guy literally looking at the ground, and then just like boom, <laughs> and you're like, oh, okay, sick. Um, but dude, sometimes though, it's like. This is I I'm experiencing sort of the fucking existential crisis that a lot of folks in a lot of games, including even chess, the cheating stuff in chess is still an issue. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where you see someone like Hikaru, who's you know one of the best of all time, yeah, facing someone who's like a thousand rating points lower than him, which is like in chess yeah. is you have a one in a million chance yeah. of beating this person if they're at, if, if they don't make thousand, some massive mistake. Yeah. Um it's just a massive like a hundred elo points. Like I don't beat anybody that's thirteen hundred on my like yeah. I, I and I'm twelve hundred. Um yeah. and after a few moves they're like something just feels weird. It feels wrong. Yeah. Um and and then they end up being vindicated because they're making moves once every three seconds or so which is like just enough time for you make a move then the engine calculates oh. starts spitting out stuff then it's like after a few seconds you make your move because the engine's like this is the best move no no this is the best move. yeah no. yeah it's going through all just the possibilities hitting, the and usually after a couple seconds is when it it tends to be decently accurate um and then but once he gets down because they're playing timed games once it gets down to an end game where you have only a few pawns, a couple of rooks, and there's eight seconds on the clock. Yeah. Then they make just brain dead massive mistakes yeah. that only someone who was fucking cheating that doesn't that isn't good would make. And then it's blatantly obvious that's that like oh, fascinating. Okay. But I'm having this now where it's like I'm sometimes I play against people. We had a game today where it was we, and we played against these dudes and it was like we lost. And I'm like, that game was great. Every engagement felt fair, felt yeah. reasonable. I whiffed. They out-aimed me. I made a mistake. That was good. I can kill them, you know, 51% yeah. of the time, 49%. Like, it, it felt so good. Yeah. And then the next game you play, and it's like, 
what's going on? Like, I feel like I'm playing against people who <laughs> yeah. are four steps ahead of me. And I don't know, man, like I, I need to try to reconcile these two things. And I'm just going to like say this out loud. I don't care that anybody will take this the wrong way. I yeah. recognize I am. I don't know, probably barely above average at fucking first person shooters. I don't know. Maybe maybe a little bit more yeah. than barely above average, but yeah. like I'm not great. Yeah. I don't I'm not one of the best. I don't think I am. Yeah. Um but I also don't think that the best, like the best in the world Tarkov players, they aren't doing things that blow my mind. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, just yeah, yeah, do yeah. the same things better and faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But when, but when it feels like they're operating, and that's on a level where it's with information that is unreasonable, chess, right? Like chess is a game where it feels like if somebody's the difference between you and the best in the world, it's like their galaxy brain they see dimensions I don't see, and they're just pushing yeah. me around. But in Tarkov, yeah, it's really just everything we do, but better. You know, Willers is just like better movement, better crosshair placement, better tracking better you know what i mean it's like but but we're doing the same thing i understand where he's gonna go i understand the strength of a right side peak i understand like you know what i mean it's like it's not galaxy brain he sees dimensions i don't see he just is on point much more consistently and f for that reason you know he's much better than me yeah and then when you watch the kill cams of people you're suspicious of it it all it always just so happens That like they they're always just in the right place at the right time. They yeah. always are aiming at the right angle at the right time. It's which is like there's 900 angles you can yeah. be holding, you can yeah, be yeah, peeking. Yeah. When these guys are running wrist tees and I have contact force, they're not hearing more than me across the map. Like, yeah. um, and it's not that they're checking every angle. Like, yeah. if, if I die, if I die to someone and they're like pie angle, angle, angle 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 i'm like oh i was just the seventh place yeah, he's they clearing looked in it yeah, yeah and yeah. i got net coded and they're just and i missed and they're better yep but when you see someone run past seven doorways whatever and then you know they might look look right and then they like aim and lean and you're right there it's like yeah and people are like bro it was that's a common spot you were sitting in that's not an explanation no yeah 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 it's just not an explanation for yeah. now and here's the asterisk, the caveat. It is an explanation a very small amount of the time. Yes. Sometimes I'm just running yes. and I'm like talking to people, half paying attention. And I'm like, oh, shit, the guy was there two rounds ago or maybe I should, yeah. you know, whatever. And then and I get lucky. Right. But it's a yeah. numbers game. It's a statistics. Yeah, game. yeah, yeah. When you die eight times in a row and all eight times are like, oh, well, he just, you know, right place, right time. Just kind of got lucky. That's when you start to wonder. Like, okay, if I was going to cheat, if I had wall hacks, I would, I'd see the guy over on that right corner and I'd be checking angle, 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 prepare myself. This is the angle where the guy is brah, and you kill the guy. Yeah, yeah. And people would be like, dude, look, he checked all the angles. And it's, and it's like, if you're competent and you're cheating, the same goes with chess. Yeah. You really only need show me wireframes for three seconds of every round of every yeah, round. Yeah. And my KD doubles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my win rate goes up 20%. You only need a small advantage when you're playing a skill-based game. Yep. Um yeah. <sighs> for sure. It's uh yeah. We've we've talked about that before, but I like an explain like because an explanation exists does not inherently mean that's the explanation. You know what I mean? Because he could have gotten really lucky lining up that shot or because I could have been in the wrong place at the wrong time doesn't mean that that's what happened. And and that goes both ways, right? It's why you and me have sat on this podcast um, like putting down the rumors of like every raid's a cheater. You know what I mean? There's a cheater. Every, it's, like, it's like just because he could have seen a wireframe review doesn't mean and, and will defend it both ways. And I know people, you know, say we're flip floppy because of that, but it's just like logic and reason and, and intellectual honesty. You know what I mean? Because, but I, you know, we were talking about this earlier about how I, th I think we were talking, I reported somebody, um, 
yesterday I was playing interchange and I just like fell over dead and there was just like enough things. He didn't have like a 490 KD. He didn't have like a 107% survival rate, but it was enough things. And, and, and it was, Chad was pretty chill about it. It, it didn't get super toxic. And we ended up just having a conversation about how like largely it comes down to like feeling because every like binary thing has, has a both ways excuse, right? Yep. Like you said, he was holding that ammo angle. It, it's a common angle, but also he could have seen my wireframe. You know yep. what I mean? He has a 73 KD. He could be cheating or he could have farmed scavs on factory. He's got an 80% survival rate. He could play really slow. He, like, so when you get it down to every like actual, you know, bullet pointed out, these are the 10 things I would look at to think if someone's cheating. It's just impossible because both of those things have it. So we were talking about how at the end of the day, it largely comes down to like feeling and that feeling you have to be trustworthy. You have to be honest with yourself to be like, I kind of was out in the open. He probably just hit it. You know what I mean? That doesn't mean sometimes you're going to have made the mistake and a cheater catches you off guard and you might not send the report, but you can't, you know what I mean? It's just like, there's now, obviously there's a limit to that, right? Like if I killed somebody and his KD was 1000, he had 500 raids and zero deaths. I'd be like, that guy's cheating, right? There's obvious yeah. limitations to that, but that's hard to have where you draw the delineation line yes. is not obvious. And that's hard to have conversations about because your experience is different than my experience. Your line might be different than my line. And at the end of the day, it's not my job to like get on a soapbox and defend my position. If I reported someone you wouldn't have, or if I didn't report somebody you would have, it's like, we have to remember here that it's like, we're just all doing the best we can. It's not at all like, it's not my job. I don't get paid per cheater band, right? You know what I mean? So it's like, but I get you, man, that it's it's like, it's weird. And, and and I say all that to say that I understand what you're feeling, where it's like, sometimes it it all adds up. Nothing on the kill cam necessarily screams cheater. Nothing on the, the stats screen in Tarkov. But it just feels, like you said, if you could, if I had a button on my keyboard where I could toggle on wireframe on like press, like when I press it, the wireframe comes on and when I release it, you... With a total aggregate of an entire raid of two or three seconds of wireframe, everything changes. You know what I mean? And so it's like, it's so hard to tell. It's just impossible, man. It's just a freaking impossible situation. But sometimes it just feels bad. It feels wrong. It doesn't feel right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like I, especially against some of the lower level players on my alt account, um, which I'm like not intentionally trying to smurf on, like. Um, no, Yeah. That's your like I'm, I'm, I'm already yeah well, I'm <laughs> already approaching don't... two thousand ARP yeah. which is above you know like yeah. above average I think at this point um, I'm sure there was a couple games where I was like on that you know and I got seventeen kills that I probably got reported by the whole team for cheating yeah I, I'm I'm sure because I had some crazy flicks yeah. where I'm like yeah, yeah, holy yeah. fuck that was nuts um. And I always try you know. to do that. I always try to say that. Like a lot of times I'm super frustrated when I die. I, uh, I'm like, when I, I'm like, I want to hit those shots sometimes, which means I'm going to get hit by those shots sometimes. You know what I mean? Yep. And it's like, that's a hard thing to remember because we remember the good feeling of hitting like a insane shot. Right. But we, and that's that's the sobering, that's the humbling thing. Like Avelian showed me a clip today where he was on woods and he had a 350 meter snipe and he was tracking a guy and the guy ran behind a uh, foliage and he lost him. And he was just, he was maintaining the track and he was like, boom. And you pull the trigger and you get the kill. And he gets the kill. And like 100 out of 100 Tarkov players see that as a kill cam and they report, right? Like that percentage it's crazy that people that report that, right? And so it's like, that's just because those clips exist is not an excuse to never report cheaters, but it's just like, a, you got to remember that. Like you want to hit those shots sometimes, which means sometimes you're the guy that gets hit with those shots. And it's like, it's just weird, man. Yeah. The, no, uh, see the down, the, 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 the downside though is, you know, there are people that'll complain and everybody's cheating in every raid and blah, blah, blah. Right. The thing is, is that like, there's an inherent filter in arena 
in that if you're a cheater, you're going to win every game and you're going to be 4,000 ARP. So you're oh, the only yeah. one. Yeah. When, when it's me and, and three other people in the top 10 on a, t on a five man and we're all in the top 250. Yeah. We sit in queue. We, we either queue up right away and it's the same five man we just played against. Or we wait seven minutes and we get, you know, in a yeah. game against... Virtus Pro fucking Russia edition with 200 ping or it's with a group that are all sus folks yeah um that always have the edge lord like racist names yeah um yep and then so i i have a prediction that like you're going to start to see a lot more people especially if like especially if more bigger name streamers who are also good move over to arena because i'm like i think at this point the biggest streamer <laughs> streaming yeah, arena yeah. with 300 viewers or whatever like nobody's really streaming arena um you're gonna start to see a lot of people like oh every every game has cheaters in it and there's a good chance that they might be right yeah because arena has matchmaking which filters you towards either yeah, the best tour, players yeah, or cheaters or the cheaters yeah 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 so it's like that's an interesting thing yeah that's an interesting point it's a. Uh, I think the big thing is just like you you get what you want out of it. You know what I mean? If if you want to believe that there are no cheaters, you can come up with excuses for every situation. And if you want to believe that there's cheaters in every raids, you can come up with a reason. You know that something is sus. Airwing Marine posted this really funny meme, and uh, it said because oh I saw it. Yeah, anybody with a high KD is a cheater, and anyone with a low KD is a well disciplined cheater. You know what I mean? And it's like, I've seen that. I've seen that in my chat where people are like, you know, look at the thing, look at the thing, like look at the profile, look at the profile before I click away. And then I look and everybody's expecting because they thought it normal. was sus and it looks normal. And they're like, well, he probably was, you know, he probably padded down the stats. And it's like, okay, what are we doing here now? You know what I mean? If you... It's an unfalsifiable yes, hypothesis. Exactly. Which is yeah exactly it's like yes you're i can't tell you that you're wrong he could have done that and like somebody else posted a picture trey or someone posted a picture of a guy and the account was like level 24 and it was like 650 raids and like 600 um a wall disconnects oh, oh yeah so he was like getting ready to go on a tear right but he he died to that guy and he, you checked the profile and you're like three percent survival rate you know with that many raids like it, he's about to he's about to go on a tear he, did he die to that guy i think so mm. or maybe it, it was it was i don't know i just saw i saw i've been seeing stuff all over once again i don't even know if it was trey i've been seeing so many pictures but what i'm saying is that like you're seeing everything happen and everything becomes uh once again, you just get out of it what you want. You know what I mean? Because you know people exist out there that pad their stats down. If you really wanted to be justified in thinking that was sus and the and the card looks normal, you can be like, well, he padded it down. You know what I mean? He yeah. probably was cheating. He padded, you know, it's like... And it's the same thing with kill cams. If, if they look yeah. weird, they... It's either super blatant and obvious yeah. or it's asterisk super blatant and obvious. Yeah, yeah. But you just don't understand why you it's don't not like... Yes, yeah. Um, or it's reasonable, which you could justify yeah. as there were a cheater that just hides it well. Yes, yeah. You've already made up your mind. And, what, and, and here's the thing is I'm not saying, like I'm not making any claims here about how many people are cheating in Tarkov or There's Arena. 11,412. Yeah, currently online right now. I've got the Discord up. No. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I, I'm not even, I'm I'm having this conversation through the fascination of it and through the frustration of like the fact that we have to go through this. I'm not even saying that like, if you're, if, if, if I, I, I'm, it, it's understandable if you report maybe a few too many accounts because you're frustrated. It's understandable if you report a, a few too few accounts because like it's, there's too much information out there. There's too too many sound bites where, you know what I mean? Like we've said, still to this day, how many times have you heard if they would just hardware ID ban? And it's like, you know that that guy just 
doesn't really understand. And that's and 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 I've I've crossed the threshold of like I'm not even trying to have these conversations with the people in chat anymore because it's exhausting and because it's not my job or this guy's job to learn server tech, network infrastructure, how cheats function. It's like at the end of the day, we're all just trying to play a game. And if your friends are all telling you that there's a ton of cheaters in the game and you're frustrated when you die to something that feels sus, it's like, I'm not going to change your mind. You're not going to change my mind. It's no, it's just, it, it's all useless. It's like the cheaters just win. And so like, I don't know, man, I don't know how many there are. I don't know how many there aren't. It all, that's why it just comes back down to like, be honest with yourself and just do whatever, do your thing, man. Like just, I don't know. I just, it's so, it has been fascinating to see the, uh, the profiles. Cause like, like we said, you know, there's a, a we get kill cams, you get profiles. Yeah. There's an epidemic of, of course, people who are just like, yeah, he, he got a, because the, li like you said, the line, the KD line is, is fascinating. There have been a few where it's like 311 KD and it's like, okay, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's pretty easy, but I would, I would love if BSG released like a massive data dump of all of the stats of people they cheat uh that they banned for cheating mm, yeah that would be that would be something i would be combing over yeah because that's a way where you know you can have ai doing a whole bunch of different things but to me what would be interesting would be to see what kind of patterns emerge from the data from people they know were cheating because they caught yeah. Gameware.exe or whatever running on their computer, right? Like, okay, take all of those people and see, Yeah, does it range from ridiculous to, like, totally terrible stats? Like, Yeah, um, that would be fascinating, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah. So it, so the cheating thing is, is, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's definitely happening in Tarkov. I've, I've, I've sent a few reports. I've had some sus interactions. Yeah. Um, and it's just like, oof. I I just we're we're gonna have this conversation over, and over and over and over again. You know what I mean? And it's and it's brutal. And I don't know. We go next is all I can really do. You know, like frick. Oh, yeah. Um. But uh. But yeah. Uh. I mean, like we've been we've been going on arena. I. Uh, saw your video which which was largely what we talked about last week on the podcast but i watched it anyway yep. and it's like it was great um i see nikita response did he respond to the video so i sent i sent it to nikita and so his first response was like like i, I i'm paraphrasing but it was like you know that like we are doing a lot of stuff. We have a lot of yeah. changes planned like it's not done and it's like well, yeah of course like yeah. but i also address that in the video like i say that obviously they could be doing a lot of things to address yeah this stuff um they could have a lot of plans all of their changes that they have planned that they're either working on or have on the roadmap might make all of it moot um but like from my perspective yeah how am i supposed to know yeah if like it's indistinguishable whether or not they have all of these planned to fix to push to the servers in an hour yeah. Or if they never considered any of these things and it's all just terrible game design. And but what we do have is seven years of precedent of it taking them five years to implement things they should have done from the yeah. from the first week. So it's like, okay, well, I'm not gonna not point out the things sure. that I think need to be done, you know. Um so he was like, Okay, cool, you know, we'll take a look. And then like the next day I woke up, checked my messages, and he was like, Great video, like we'll see what we can do. Oh, so that's a thing. That's a thing. Um, I don't know what that means. Interesting. Like, as far as I was concerned, we were, like, done with the conversation. You know, like, I sent it. He yeah. was like, okay, cool. Um, so it was, it, you know, it's always cool to get that extra thing where he's like, oh, great video. Like, yeah, 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 like, yeah. I'm, I'm picturing him, like, waking up in the morning, grabbing his coffee, going to sit on the toilet and watching the video, you know? And, yeah, <laughs> and then, yeah. To, He's to, like, oh, okay, cool. There's some interesting stuff. You know, to reach I don't back know. out, yeah, to be like, hey, I enjoyed the video. We'll see what we can do. You know, hopefully, because like you said, it's less about your idea being pushed forward and more just about like, are we thinking critically about these things? I think you actually said in the video, I'm almost positive, you were like, 
there might be a hundred different really good ideas that arrive at a much better experience here. It's not about my idea or this one way. It's just, are we considering these things? Are we considering the right things? And like, maybe this feedback can help them if they're working on a different idea or whatever. So that's a, uh, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, everybody's like, Oh, you know, what did you think about like this thing or did you, did, how are they going to change like the rubles or you didn't account for And it's like, if I was working for BSG, yeah, I would be accounting for every little detail, yeah, and I would be proposing very specific solutions, and yeah. I would justify those solutions, and I would. But why would I spend that amount of time yeah. and detail and effort drilling into all of the minutia just to have him be like, "Oh yeah, we were pushing something this afternoon," yeah. you know what I mean? Like exactly, it's, exactly. So for sure. That's why I ended up opting for the simpler, like, quick and dirty. Here are my thoughts. Now you can see there is a world where all of this gets solved yes. without these two solutions that everybody keeps saying, like, this is the solution. The solution is pick your gear. Every, I mean, every, even yeah. today. Today I've had three separate people in chat say, at Veritas, don't you think that if they you picked your gear before matchmaking, it would solve all the problems? Yeah. Now, luckily, now I can say, watch the video. Yeah, yeah. And I don't have to, and I don't have to debate it. Yeah. Because for two weeks, I was saying, no, it's not sufficient. It wouldn't solve it, and it would cause all kinds of other problems. Well, like, but like, why would it? And it's like, oh god, I can't have this. I can't do in-depth this. Comp- yeah, yeah, nine-dimensional yeah. conversation that I've had seventeen times every day. Yep. Um. <laughs> no, for sure, for sure, and uh, yep. And the fact that it's using almost exclusively existing systems. It's not like, cause, cause the other thing is like, just, just rebuild it. What if we did the buy phase? Like that's the other main idea. And that's like, okay, that requires a lot of, that's not just retooling stuff we have. That's like, okay, we have to come up with a new system here. So the fact that it solves these problems and it's like, for the most part with all existing stuff, let's do well, that's cool, man. I, yeah, I hope it just like it. I, I've heard, uh, I know you've talked about it because you've talked about some of the homies you play with more frequently now. You guys all have alts. I've uh, had a few people in chat that are really enjoying Arena and have gotten alts. And it like, I, it hurts me. I cringe a little bit. Like, not like it cringe. Like, I physically cringe a little bit inside when I'm like, just hearing that the solution is like people pay more money to this company for another account to have fun. That's just like, is so unreal. I under, I understand. Like, you know what I mean? I get it, but it's like, please God, like that can't be the solution. You know what I mean? That can't and, and, be. And it, it's only, it's only a solution for a couple of weeks before then my alt account is now exactly where my main is. And what I got to buy. I mean, and you know what the, the irony too, is that like, I have like, I counted. I have like nine accounts. Seriously, oh, I have really? nine accounts. Now, so I think like two or three of them might be like tournament accounts that probably don't exist anymore. Yeah. But I was like looking at my password manager and I've got, it's like my email and then like plus zero at gmail.com plus one at yeah. gmail.com plus two. And like two or three of them are EOD. One of them was a press kit that then got turned into EOD. Oh. I bought my wife a standard account. So I'm like, I, I could have just upgraded, but I didn't want to log in the launcher 97 times and do the captcha over and over again so i'm like and my time it's like okay i'll spend the fucking 35 or 40 bucks or whatever yeah 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 yeah. and not have to fuck around with my password manager and bsg's launcher um yeah yeah it's pretty sad no i i i feel you (laughs) if it does do a five-man factory with yourself someone said (laughs) dude I, i am actually one of the things i'm planning is to do um you can't you have to have a full fucking 10 man if you want to do a custom game, which sucks. Oh, there's so many things that are steps in the wrong direction with arena, like that they solved two years ago with Tarkov that were so bad for so long yeah. that they didn't solve that. Then arena like reintroduced, like the grouping system is worse in, in arena than it was before they upgraded it. Yeah. Um, it's, it's terrible. It's fucking terrible. Um, but, uh, the fuck what was i what was i just talking about what did i say the custom games like what what you yeah 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 and so i want to get like 10 streamers uh or you know there's probably going to be a few folks that are just normies yeah in a game and have us all recording all of it and i want to do a super cut of all the engagements showing your side a 
side B, <laughs> spectator cam, yeah, and kill cam. All four of them, and to see where they diverge, Dude. where they differ. Um, that would be fascinating. Yeah, man. It's like I remember you you did that testing on factory. Like where everybody was running and that everybody would hitch at the same like, time. Yeah, everybody was running and you'd see. Whoop. Yep. And it was all at the same time, except on on their everyone's screen, they were just running and nothing happened. Yep. The the guy in the front of the line didn't see anything. Yeah. The guy who was second in line saw the dude in front stop. <laughs> yeah. The dude in third saw the two guys in front stop. I'm watching and I just see everybody oh, stop. Oh my god. Oh. Those were those were some of the times of all time. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Wow. Yep. <sighs> Oi. Well, um, uh, I've been playing. I've been playing a whole lot of Tarkov, and there's some there's some interesting things, interesting changes that they made over there. But before we hop in, I do want to take a second and thank the first sponsor of tonight's episode, and that is Hello Fresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip to the trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Bro, it's it having having the ability to it. fucking eat to eat good food without having to deal with all the shopping nonsense. Cause yep. I hate going to the grocery store. Uh every minute of my life matters and is important. So yep. getting in my car you know, uh, is, yep. Is a terrible decision <laughs> being able to, uh, <laughs> to have all of the ingredients for like a well-rounded tasty, yep. healthy meal. Yep. Yeah. I mean, and it's nice ugh. that the, the, like, it's nice that everything is pre portioned out, like for a few reasons. One cooking can get super stressful for me when I'm like, Oh, I need to do this thing. And you have to take out the cheese. Then you have to be like, how much do I need X, Y, Z when everything is already going. So literally it's just so, I guess it's just so convenient to just like open the package and like, this is all the basil I need, or this is all the, this I need. You know what I mean? It's like, I do that with herbs all the time. We buy cilantro cause I want to cook something and I use what, and then two weeks later we find the rest of the wilted cilantro at the bottom of the fridge. And so the fact that everything is like pre portioned and it's just like, there's no waste. You just use it all. Uh, it comes in all recyclable packaging. Uh, the convenience factor has always been one that uh, has been huge for for me, being able to choose what type of meals you want, how many you want, when you want to skip. You can change it every week. Uh, you can choose their quick and easy meals. They have meals that are that you can cook in 15 minutes or less. They have Protein Plus if you're looking for extra protein, like all sorts of different options to choose from. And I think that's very cool. Um, so, uh so yeah, we love HelloFresh. Uh, we've we've both used it quite extensively, and it is delicious. Now yeah, you, and it's gonna it's gonna keep me alive. Yeah, too, <laughs> from uh, all of my health issues related to my diet. Yeah, I can eat hot pockets, or I can actually cook a balanced meal. OMG, what do I want to do? Um, so you can go to hellofresh.com/slash/podcast-free and use code podcast-free for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while your subscription is active. That is free breakfast for breakfast for life at hellofresh.com slash podcast free with code podcast free. Thank you so much. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit for sponsoring this episode. Hmm. I'm hungry. I'm always hungry after these. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, Tarkov stuff. I've been playing Tarkov so much, so much Tarkov. And uh, dude, the big thing, man, is like the armor and I'm sure you've seen some like tweets and, and just like seen people talking about it, but like the armor is so, so like on the podcast, you've seen my opinion, like go around because at first I was like super apprehensive of the whole thing, the whole system. I was like, this is going to be stupid. Um, or at least I was worried. And then some of the initial reactions coming off the wipe were like really cool because you know, Maybe it's not about this armor's good because it's got 45, 60 durability points and this one's 45. It kind of simplified. It's like, these are the class five plates. Put them in whatever armor you want. And, and it's a, lo a lot more visually intuitive as well. You know what I mean? It, it was It's weird that a slick, you know what I mean? A slick and a trooper look the same as far as coverage. 
but yep. one was so much better than the other. You know what I mean? Knowing that like now these class six plates, like you can put them in carasas. So it's like, yeah. it's less about, you know, this colored armor is really bad and this colored armor is really good. It's more intuitive around like these can all, for the most part, put, take whatever plate you want to put in them. And visually, if it looks like it covers more of your body in the game now, it does. And that's probably going to be heavier, but it's going to offer you more protection. So it just felt a little bit more intuitive. It felt like in some ways it had simplified the system. So I was like, okay, maybe this is kind of cool, but I don't like getting, you know, armpitted or thoraxed or whatever. And just more hours were putting into it, man, the less confident I, I am that I know what the hell is happening. Like just at all with the system, um, all I and all I see, I see two different things. I see people complaining about getting arm pitted when they're wearing their level six, whatever mm -hmm. the fuck, you know, by just like a random scav across dorms. Mm -hmm. I see half the clips for that, and then the other half are two or three different folks saying we tested x armor and it's completely broken doesn't stop yeah or no it, it stops like everything yeah. bullets don't pen and i'm sitting here thinking like i i don't know like what the fuck is going on yeah. i don't even want to get into the realm of trying to test it out um don't. it's a black hole right now Airwing is like losing his mind because he's been he's been putting in hours with Tower and like Tower and Airwing are people that I trust, right? Like Tower knows <laughs> more about the ballistics in this game and how a lot of it should function than a lot of people. And they're just I, just, I hope I hope just there's confused. not. I hope there's not. Not that I don't. Just not that I don't trust either of yeah. them. I worry though that there's some like minor flaw in the testing that would like lead to Yeah. What I've seen is before is like people test a thing, they have a wrong assumption. Yeah. And then they go down massive rabbit holes based on those assumptions that like if they hadn't made X mistake beforehand. And I'm not even saying I, I haven't seen any of the testing. I've been staying away yeah. from it. I've been staying away from watching it, but like I remember one of the biggest things in the old armor testing after Anton, yeah, but before this new stuff, some yeah. of the older, where like people wouldn't account for like height over bore. Correct. So yeah, they yeah, yeah. have the dot on the nose, but it, it was on a fucking riser. And so, yeah. so it'd be hitting here, which is a thorax. And and then and they'd see the guy go, Ugh, yeah. And they assume that that's a headshot. Yeah. You know, like little things like that. So when it comes to hitboxes, when I, what I have seen is like diagrams with like little highlighted areas, and I'm like very not confident. No, in so many scenarios that the bolt that you could put a bullet in that little rectangle that you highlighted consistently for sure. enough. For sure. Here's the that, thing. Uh, here's the thing, though, is that like they're not making any assertions. So he, I've seen a lot of what you said. I've seen I've seen quite a few of these tweets. I tested this. This armor is broken. And that's like, I know when I see that, I'm always like, Ugh. like somebody tweet because it could be the armor's broken. It could be the ammo's broken. It could be something with the new system. It could be, it could be spread to more armors. It might not just be that armor, whatever. The thing is, is like what Airwing and Tower are trying to do is like create a baseline. Like they're like, you know what I mean? They're just being like, okay, well, yeah. if I shoot you here, what happens? And it's just like, it's almost like, they're they gain hp when you shoot them it's just like that level of like what you know what i mean like i i recall I don't seeing, understand yeah so I, maybe maybe i'll have to look at some of the specific examples because like I, I i i've seen one example and the conversation like ptsd triggered me enough yeah to like sure, say sure. i don't even want to get involved it was airwing posted he was like explain this to me and it was he shot an armor with a bullet, yeah, like twice or something. Um, it, he had an explanation, and then like one peg responded with like an explanation. Yeah. Now, when I first read what he said, I had like a oh, 
I had like instantly like, oh, that's not that crazy. He yeah. seems like a reasonable one peg answered with like an explanation that I don't recall. I don't know. I vaguely recall as like not being the most obviously reasonable explanation, like straight away. Yeah. Um, and just being like, oh, God, like I, if I'm going to get involved in this conversation, I'm going to get involved. And then it's yeah, like there goes yeah, a fucking of course. of my life. So I just kind of like backed away, but, but yeah, like, so, so for example, if you, if you shoot two bullets, yeah. Um, and you see like six hits. Yeah. And like the first bullet does almost no damage. And then the second bullet kills. Yeah. And let's say the bullet does like, I don't know. I don't know how much damage, like it's like a 70 damage bullet. Mm -hmm. Like, what would you, what would you think that would be? I don't know. Like fragment. If you shoot once and it hits twice. Or, no, you or... shoot, you shoot twice. Oh, you see six hits. The first bullet does like no damage. The second bullet kills like oh. basically one taps. I don't know. I don't know anymore. My, my, my guess. And I don't know once again, because we don't know what yeah. hits means. Yeah, I have to assume that if a bullet fragments into four pieces, that that's four hits. I assume. Yeah. But but then if it like penetrates the armor and then penetrates like the 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 soft armor and then the hard armor and then like hits the flesh underneath or whatever, is that three hits or is that one hit? I don't know, right? Yeah. But I just assumed it was one bullet and then as one hit, not penning the second bullet penetrates fragments into five pieces. Yeah. And it's a crit to the chest and you die. Yeah. But like that to me just seemed so blatantly obvious that without an explanation as to why that wasn't ruled out, I just wonder like what's confusing about this. I don't know. Yeah, I mean I don't know. I don't even know which one you're talking about. I haven't been keeping up with all can, of them. Let's see if I can find I it. I think I'd it's this one. Uh, 6B13 was 6B33. He's shooting 993. The first shot did 64 damage. He healed to full health. The second shot killed him. One taps the 85 HP chest. Two shots, five hits. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. So, when, you know, when he says, I have no idea how to make sense of this, I mean, I don't know that you can make sense of it because, again, I don't yeah. even know if we can trust the stats. But that to me, so l let me look. Uh, 993. Let's just. Yeah, we're doing a thought experiment 993 here. 993 like, has in real 70 time. pen and 67 damage and a 13% chance to frag. So 67 damage. So if it fragments, it's going to do about 100 damage. And if it goes through the armor, the damage reduction is probably not... Yeah. I, I don't remember now, but probably doesn't have to be 15 per, Like, it'd have to be 15% or more to get it under the 85. Correct. So, like, if it um, fragments, it would one-tap to the thorax. If it fragments and penetrates. Yeah. Um. So, like... Now, he said the first shot did 64 damage to him. So... That actually tracks as well, because... Yeah, when it the, pens... It takes you, some of the damage, damage off. Yeah. Yeah, and it's 67 damage. And if it's 993 with fucking 70 pen, it's going to penetrate. Yeah. Now, if he said it, the first bullet got blocked, that'd be like, well, okay, maybe something's fucked up with armor or ammo or whatever, right? But but I don't know. So, like, again, I, I, think, I, 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 love, think it. Air I love Air is, Wing. I think he's saying but more I don't, he doesn't understand how two shots is five hits. Like, he's like, where's the math if it fragmented... If it was two shots and one of them fragmented, then maybe it would be three hits. Like, how does is it? I mean, yeah, is, that, is a hit is a hit is it he, counting? So there's hits? an unstated assumption that he needs to include these. Are yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nuts. I'm not saying because, I disagree. Because I'm I'm a fucking pedantic science nerd, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, why doesn't it make sense? But here's the assumption is that there's only two fragments. It doesn't break in two pieces. It breaks into a bunch of pieces. Yeah, but I I think yeah, that's never been properly tested how fragments display as hits you know what i mean and here's the thing he's he's literally not making assertions like this is broken or this is bad he's literally be he's literally saying no, 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 maybe, I know. yeah no no i know i'm just saying it's important he's 
he's saying make this make sense. Any any got anybody have ideas? I think and, and and yeah. So it's like he's just doing so, cursory testing and trying to establish some sort of baseline here. So something we've known forever, or at least I've known forever, is that fragmentation and ammo. It's like the fragmentation in the JSON is an object that yeah. has a chance, a minimum, and a maximum. So, okay. like, looking at the first round, which is 556, five, uh, 855, five. fragmentation chance is 50%. It has a minimum of two fragments, maximum of four. So, all, all I'm saying is that when when a bunch of people are all saying, armor's broken, armor's broken, look at this tweet, yeah. I look at the tweet, and it's like, that's the most obvious, not confusing thing. Yeah. That's when I start to go, oh, God, are we back to where no one fucking understands anything but about I mean, anything anymore? Like I said, <laughs> d fragmentation, like, do you know how that works? Like, can you shoot somebody once with a, f a fragment? And, like, if I shoot somebody once and it fragments, do you know if that would make sense? If it that counted as two shots, three shots, or four shots? Like, is a fragment... That's, that's in always been my assumption. Okay, because yeah. If you shoot, if you shoot one person and it says three hits, and... So there have been tests that, and it's hard because I've done so much testing over the years yeah, that yeah. like a lot of things I have established and then now I've discarded the reasoning and evidence for yeah. that I just have in my head I understand, and yeah. things have changed. But yeah, like I was under the impression that, you know, if you shoot someone twice and there's multiple hits, there's two ways of interpreting that. Yeah. Either it's fragments or it counts multiple penetrations of different layers as hits. Yeah. It only makes sense when you one tap someone with a sixty-seven damage bullet that it fragments. For sure. So it fragmented, and if it and if it fragmented, well, then by like the definition of the word is it broke into multiple pieces. Yeah. I I don't know, like. But the thing is, though, is also in the ballistics, doesn't a fragment isn't a fragment applying just a ba like a a fifty percent additional damage? No. No. Yeah. How does that work then? It's um. And I have I don't have the the stats on That's it. That's fine. Exactly. Like make up the but, numbers. Yeah. But like, take the take the damage. Yeah. Multiply it by one point five. Yeah. And then divide that by the number of fragments, and that's how much damage each fragment does. And ninety eight percent of the time, all of the fragments are hit your flesh, so it's indistinguishable from yeah. if it was one piece. The only difference is. See, I didn't know that. That's that's kind of the that's the piece I was missing. I thought the calculation was literally take the damage, multiply it by one point five, and in that case, why would the game ever list a fragment as more than two hits? Because like if if they went the realism route on one way of like, well, it could break into five hits, so it could like five, it could be five. But I was like, but if you're making, but if it's a flat damage thing, then it's like, why the hell would you do that? But if on the there's back probably end, a universe in which not all of the fragments so like yeah if there's multiple layers of armor i suppose there's a chance that it's gonna pen yeah and it fragments and four of the five fragments penetrate but one of them doesn't yeah i don't know if it rolls the dice individually yeah um again i don't know what they've done anymore they've changed so much stuff since i wrote sure. all my ballistics sure. engines shit so I, I can't say but here's a funny one though Flip side of that, you actually used this earlier as an example of, okay, if this happened, then I'd be like, maybe something's up. A few hours later, he posted a clip that's 6B13 or 43, whatever, uh, class four armor. It's got a class four plate. It tanks two rounds of M993, 70 pen. Okay, let me, so how does the armor work now where there's, plates and yeah i don't know now, now what, what i believe is what happens is it shoots the plate it does all of its normal calculations if it says yes it penned like you know how it basically goes if yes then this is the new damage because like you said it takes some of it away this is like the new damage it has yeah the new, and pen yes the pen also gets reduced it just re-rolls that again against the yeah, and, and that's the way it used to work when you could wear armor yeah, over, yeah. A, like, a rig over a... But but so I don't know what... Again, without doing the testing, I don't yeah. know what controls were done or whatever. What... I don't know what class armor this is, what class the mm -hmm. soft armor or the hard armor yeah. is. Um, So... It's class 4 hard, class 2 soft. 
70 pen. And it takes okay, it so twice. wait, six, is this the one where it was, this isn't the mounted one, or is it? Does What does the tweet start? Does it, is it, here's another one for shits and giggles, we no. tried the mounted 50, or is no, it something else? it's another one. Here's another fun one. Class 4 plate stops M993 twice. All right, let me just watch this real, real quick. So... <laughs> Okay, so he hit him in the chest, and then he tabs over to Towers' view so he can see how much like damage it does. You know what I mean? You know what? I, and you know what like scares me too is again. This is just the pedantic part of me. Did he check the chamber? Yeah. Is there's a universe in which the round in the chamber? He literally does it again though. He shoots that armor again. Okay. And checks the chamber and shows it in okay. the video. All yeah. right. Yeah, and I'm and I'm just thinking out loud with this stuff too. Um yeah. Here's the thing though. Here's the thing. I totally get I totally get everything you're saying. Like because you've done far more extensive testing than most people have done and you've done it the right way in the sense of like accounting for literally as many variables as possible. And made a million mistakes and learned a ton yeah, from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm saying, what I'm saying is like, the, the important the important assertion here is that uh, what Airwing and Tower are doing are just trying to figure out hypotheses to even test the right way, right? Like they're trying to like, everything is so confusing, they're trying to come up. So they're not making any assertions about the armor. And the second thing is that like, all I'm saying, I'm not one of those people, like on the podcast right now, I'm not one of those people saying like, oh my God, Armor's broken, X, Y, Z. All I'm saying is that it's weird. If I got a, if I had a bazooka and I shot Velian in the face with it and he didn't die, I would just be like, that's weird. D you know what I mean? Like, that's as far as, that's as far as I'm making it. It's just like, things are happening that don't seem to make sense. I'm sure mm -hmm. there's an explanation of it, but it's like, at some point, the system should produce something you know what i mean some sort of results and i think i think the i think what people are feeling is that the results are even more inconsistent which going back to the start of this conversation was exactly what i was concerned about before this system was implemented right it was my concern wasn't the realism aspect my concern wasn't like how cool will it be to loot the plates my concern was exactly this is that if even accounting for as many variables as possible, the game feels super inconsistent and just like weird and, and you don't know what to expect out of a system, then when you introduce that to all of the other normal stuff, it just like, it just feels bad. It just feels weird. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? Yeah, so no, it's absolutely. Like, and, and, and so that's and all me on knowing that is like, it just feels weird. Me knowing how at least in the past, how all of these systems work mm -hmm. and how needlessly complicated yeah. they were, knowing that the masses try to simplify it to rules like class four, you know, 40 yeah. pen yeah, yeah, always yeah. pens, class 30 pen never pens class four. It's like, no, that's actually like an 11% chance. Yeah, that's not true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So seeing uh, them exponentially complicate the system yeah. further a system that no one understood before Yeah, that now people are trying to understand and yeah. say, this is broken or doesn't make sense. And then seeing all of the attention it gets. Cause the moment you say armor and ammo is broken. Yeah. Boom. That's all anybody talks about for sure. And then I go to talk to Nikita about it and he, Nikita's already annoyed for sure because he's, I come to him with like, Hey, someone said this and this, he's like, yeah, well people need to give us clips or examples. And it's like, Oh my God. I don't know. Like, I just, I, I fucking think, hate it which, because it's just, it just solidifies. We will never as a community be on the same fucking page about how things work. Yeah. And as someone who tries to educate and disambiguate, all that means is that I'll never sleep again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because. But that's what I'm saying though. It's like, that's once again, it goes back to that's what Airwing and tower are trying to do. Like, is no, just they'll, they'll never do it. No, 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 no. no. I, they, I don't think what what I'm saying is they're not trying to educate in that way. They're just trying to like, they 
you're like Nikita's like give us clips. They're like I shot this guy with a with a round that has 70 pen and I can reliably have this class 4 armor tank it. That's what I'm saying is that what 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 I'm saying is it's an important and I know you know this but it's an important distinction between somebody tweeting a screenshot of an armor that took some damage and saying armor is broken and yep. them saying make this make sense also at BSG is this the intended behavior. Yeah. Those are very different things, right? Absolutely. And, 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 and let me make it clear. I'm where, not trying to shit on them no, no, for what no. they're doing. I know, but I I'm I'm I know that. I just want to make sure that everybody knows that. It's like Airwing and Tower are doing the Lord's work. I don't want to spend my freaking day doing this stuff. But what I'm saying is that it is just so people know it is an important distinction. Like if you're scrolling to here's the thing though. Here's why I want to say this. Not because I think you're shitting on Airwing, but because when People scroll Twitter. If you're scrolling fast enough, Airwing's tweets and the guys that are tweeting armor is broken look similar enough that you're like, everybody thinks armor is broken. But what I'm saying, if you're scrolling Twitter tonight, it's an important... Well, I only see <laughs> tweets from content creators, Yeah, basically. It's an so. important distinction to know that Airwing and Tower are not saying armor is broken. They're saying, I don't understand this. What do you think? You know what I mean? Or they're tagging BSG and being like, like as you said, Nikita's like, we'll send us clips then. Well, it's like, here's the goddamn clips. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and, 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 and what, what I'm, what makes me exhausted before I even get involved in is like, you know, you read the responses because I'm trying to, I yeah. want to know, okay, these are the tests. They're doing tests. The tests have repercussions about what we learn, what we yeah. understand, what the community thinks, which affects everybody's day-to-day -day life as a content creator for what people are coming in saying, did you see this? What do yeah. you think about this? Can you explain this? Blah, 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 blah. Right. Um, and then you just like read through the comments and it's like in your tests, are you considering the bore height in the sites? Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, I put six BP rounds into a guy wearing the media yeah. vest for 298 damage. I still died to his seven hits with PS rounds wearing class four armor. It's weird lately with armor for sure. This is hilarious. I died yesterday to a player scalp while wearing this same armor from seven, six, two by 39 HP. Yeah. And it's just, and it's just a bunch of people who's, sure. who's like, I don't understand the system and here's why I'm mad at BSG for it. For sure. And for sure. I, Ugh. I agree with you. I yeah, I, I agree with you. I just think as long as you're not making assertions, I like you don't have to over qualify. Like, you know what I mean? Like I, I like it doesn't it, I don't care that Airwing wasn't like, you know what I mean? I did this, I checked this sighting, I checked this thing, 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 I verified this, I verified this, verified this, here's the clip. Like, he's just mm -hmm. tweeting. He's not saying anything's broken. He's not saying he knows what's happening. He's just saying, this is weird. And people are going to respond with exactly that. And I just don't care because he's not coming out and being like, These, this is my test. This is my findings. It's just like, I just don't think you have to. I'm not saying you're saying this, but I'm saying I just don't think you have to do that to just send out a tweet and be like, man, this is feeling weird or something seems off. You know what I mean? I think the important yeah. distinction is, are you making a claim about the system or not? And if so then you're going to have to back up a lot of it. You know what I mean? Um, <sighs> I will say anecdotally, there's a few other like things that feel weird. Tell me if this was in the old system as well. I was, which we're going to talk about in a little bit, but I was doing so it good. You know how you always have to get the Zabralo under 50 durability, under 50% and the one over 50% you turn them in, right? Oh God, tell me they have to be all the plates, dude. Oh, every single plate. No, no, Veritas. Not every plate. Every single piece of the soft armor. You can get the Zabralo. At <laughs> you can get the Zabralo. <laughs> and take all the plates out of it. Because, right? Because think about it. This makes sense. If a Zabralo has 400 total HP like 400 out of 400 and you take a plate that's 60 that's a 60 out of 60 out of it the durability of that isn't 340 out of 400 it's now 340 out of 340 cuz you took the plate out can you could, could okay they all have to be found in raid too right no they don't have to be found in raid but 
they oh wait wait so could you just put in busted plates so is it really so you just don't need plates armor? it's just the soft armor you can take the plates out and keep the class six plates I think oh, that's okay. I think that's unintended because the whole thing is unintended. They just did not consider so it good part two, uh, two or three when they did these changes. They didn't consider it at all. So you just take the plates out. But here's the problem: if you take every single plate out, there's four plates in as a brawler. You get two side plates that are class six, front and back plate of the test. You pull them all out. The durability of the armor is like 195 out of 195. It's a hundred percent durability. So you have to go in. And you have to shoot every single zone, side, side, growing, or groin, front. So wait, the soft armor is broken up into segments too? Yes. Everything. There's, there's so on a Zabralo, there's front plate, back plate, oh. side plate, side plate, front soft armor, back soft armor, side soft armor, side soft armor, neck soft armor, crotch soft armor. And they're all broken up into individual durability points. And, oh, sorry, and shoulder soft armor, shoulder soft armor, okay? And so I spent 38 minutes in a factory raid with a shotgun and Makarov with 70 round, 70 round mags shooting dude in the neck and the thorax and the thing because it's class three soft armor. And you have to get all, every individual piece of it has to be at 50% durability or less. Yeah, I mean, they that they have to okay. fix that. So I do that. But that's not even what I was going to say. Okay, but we can talk about Soka real quick. Because they removed the barter for the Zabralo. And they removed the barter for the Gazelle. So now the only way you can get them is find them and raid. And the only way to turn in the quest was to, like, you have to have a friend shoot you. You can't, like... Scav, shoot me in the neck. It's the only it's the only place that does scav. Shoot me in the like you can't. You had to find a friend, right? To do it. And you couldn't find this the Zabralos because they're the, where do you find Zabralos? On boss guards. What's the boss percent chance right now? Five percent, dude. So it's like it's just a hard lock on the quest, especially if you're solo. Especially if you're solo. You couldn't even get the gazelles. You had to find the gazelles. They can spawn on scavs, but you had to find them. Anyways, as of today, by the way. As of this afternoon, they literally just changed the task. And even though it says all the flavor text is the same, you can turn in 100% durability ones as the 50% durability ones. They were literally just, they were like, we'll fix it later. But you can just turn them in. If you have two gazelles that are 100%, you just turn them both in for the quest. As of today. Oh, are they, wait, is, is it, I, I might have missed this. Is it gazelles now? Well, it's gazelles. It's, so it... Good part two is gazelles. So it good part three is the brawlos. Oh, so you okay. have to hit them back to back. So fucking sweet. So they that was I mean that's a W. They needed to do something like that, but literally you can just turn them in. Anyways, so I I love I love the response. Everybody's like hell yeah, let's go! Like everybody's so excited. It's like hey, we removed the splinter from your urethra. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's like hell. Yeah, boys, big W. It's like, well, they put it there to begin with. So, I mean, like, hey, bro. <laughs> it's big so fucking W, true. fam. It's so freaking true. <sighs> um, we take them where we can get them, hey, boys. Yeah, we take them where we can get them. Anyways, um, the the reason I brought up <laughs> so it good was because. You tell me if this, if you believe, if you remember this being a part of the system. Wait, what am I even saying? <sighs> okay. I was going to ask you something and I answered my own stupid question. Here's an interesting thing that's happening. I was shooting. Tell me. Uh, uh, yeah. Tell me. Show, if, me tell, on the, show me on the doll. Yeah. Tell me if you can, if you can come up with like an explanation for this. Okay. Challenge accepted. Okay. As a way to smash that like button and subscribe. <clears throat> yes. To smash that Zabralo. There are no plates in it, right? So I'm saying Zabralo, but it's class three armor. Because mm -hmm. there's soft armor. I brought in a shotgun with 8.5 millimeter buck. It has two pen and eight, okay. pal eight pellets to do 50 damage. Two pen. And I was shooting them. Uh, I was, we were doing those for the main front back. So he was crouched. I, God, you went with buckshot? That's, uh, that's scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, he was he was in front of me. I, I put the armor on this guy. I brought I'd someone have from like Quake Maker or, or Rip Ammo. I brought or something. someone from Chadden, right? So if I kill him, it's whatever. <laughs> oh, you put it on them. Yeah, I put it on them. I was shooting this guy. He was crouched in front of me in the back. Okay, it was shooting him in the back. It was damaging his thorax, and it was damaging the front armor too. I'm pig. I literally, you know what ju just popped into my head when you said that is a pinball machine. The yeah, 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 yeah. I just picture the fucking BBs going crazy, yes. and you got fucking multi ball exactly. bonus. Exactly, multi ball bonus. I and I was like, and I didn't, and I remember being like, I remember being like, I don't know if I would have expected that or not. I just like, I, he was saying it, and then I was just like, is that right? I don't Okay, wait. So once again, say it again. So you shot him in the back and what happened? And it damaged the back plate, his thorax, and the front plate. So But okay. it's only two pen. Is every inch of the see, this this is where my ignorance comes in because yeah, I just yeah. haven't fucking looked at any of this. Is every inch of your torso covered with with some amount of armor? With the Zabralo, yes. And I was I was literally point blank. I was putting the shotgun on his back. There's no gaps whatsoever. Uh I mean like in the Zabralo, like armpit, but the Zabralo goes all the way up to neck, all the way down to groin, and it wraps around on both sides. It would literally just be armpit, would be the only gaps. But he was crouched in and front of me, and I was shooting him in the back. You shot him in the back, and it damaged front armor and flesh underneath with... It damaged all three. It damaged back armor, flesh, and, and front armor. And I was like... You know how there's, like, charged particles coming <laughs> from the sun that, like... They like fucking go through the fucking planet, yeah. and, like, they, don't, they very weakly interact yeah. with <laughs> all matter? Perhaps... Yeah. Was did they did they introduce ammo that does that? I think so. Fucking quark rounds. Yeah, quark rounds. Yes, yes. Quark, Neutrino quark rounds. Wait, have we been reading Quake Maker wrong this whole it's time? It's Quark Maker. It's actually Quark oh Maker. Oh my god. Um. Okay. No, but wait a minute. How much damage did the flesh take underneath? Uh, I don't remember. Like one, two, or was it like thirty? Uh, it was probably in the, it was probably like, in the like 10 to 15 cause I shot him twice and he was like, whoa, whoa, whoa let me heal, let me heal. <laughs> like after like two shots, he was like, Hey, 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 but yeah, I don't I mean, know. The only thing I can think of is does blunt damage with every pellet. Yeah, maybe if you take every pellet, what's the damage per pellet but, and you, let's say, let's say 15% of that damage times eight pellets or whatever does, could that possibly account for. Then I say to you, if it's blunt damage, that means it didn't pen. How does it damage both armors? Well, I wouldn't expect, I wouldn't expect it to pen your body, and then the front armor. Yeah. Like I wouldn't expect it to be a through and through. Yeah. To me, what makes the most sense is like the there's a delineating line between front and back. Yeah. If that's just slightly, like, you know, if, yeah. if you've got any rounds in this general area, it touched the front armor. But that's what I'm saying. I, I, I don't know. I, yeah. Without seeing a clip, yeah, I can think of these fucking hand wavy. What you're saying should never happen. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying exactly. So there we go. You're 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 trying to you're over. Okay, I don't. This isn't the right way to say this, but you're over engineering the possible solution. Like. You, if you're right there that it's like that delineating line is not where it's supposed to be, then I'm right in saying armor's bugged. I, I don't have the solution. I don't understand the solution. But what I'm saying is like in this situation, and this, by by no means am I saying this was a scientific test. I was trying to get my goddamn quest done. This wasn't, I didn't yeah, record yeah, yeah. any of it. I didn't see how much damage it did. But I was just saying anecdotally, I was like, I don't get this because no, I can tell you that none of the rounds hit his armpit. I, sw I literally had the barrel of the shotgun at his back. Boom. With a two, two pen round. So it's like, I just don't know. And I don't care enough to do what you do, which is test it super scientifically, because I think I would just rather lobotomize myself with a rusty spoon. Well, no, you but you can't test the system scientifically if it's true. 
indeterministic and super broken. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can make sense. Like back in the day yeah. when there weren't major bugs, you could make sense of things. Like when I made my calculator in Battle Buddy that I guarantee you no longer fucking applies. Mm -hmm. it, it applies in the general, everything boils down to whether it's like two, three or four yeah. bullets time to kill. Like, yeah. but, but the specifics no longer, I'm sure they no longer uh, apply back in the day. It was a one to one. Like I went through and literally was like, I will take a quake maker, shoot you in level three armor in your stomach, then shoot you in the arm, then shoot, with a, with PST yeah. and take M80, shoot you in the left leg once, M62 in the right leg twice, you should have exactly this arrangement of HP. The UI is going to round up this way, yeah. but the total value, and it was right 100% of the time in the most convoluted bullshit, and it was like, that was an establishment that I understand how it works, Yeah, yeah, yeah and it's yeah. consistent, and it makes sense. Everybody still misunderstood it for reasonable reasons because it's yeah they didn't have access to the fucking source code exactly yeah 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 um but but that was at least coherent and yeah. consistent and working it was just it, it was nonsensical how it worked yeah, exactly and this if this is broken and busted then people doing twenty seven tests and getting ninety seven different yeah it, it's it's indistinguishable from there's a bug now that makes it so that i don't know i tried to think of it fucking the craziest thing oh, yeah possible it's, it's indistinguishable and I think about. it's indistinguishable from literally just um like i bet i could with a, i bet with enough gusto i could get the rumor started again that like hey there's a bug where it's just 50 percent of the time the server just doesn't see your armor Oh, take it off, put it back on again, and because, everybody does the rain dance. Because, and this is the point you're making, so I'm agreeing with you here, is that, like, it's so complicated, and it's so convoluted, and there's no even attempt at an explanation of how the system should work in-game, that when something's made up, when something's messed up, you can just fabricate 11 different reasons why, and they all work, right? Like, if I go out to my car tomorrow... And I turn it on and I'm hearing this and, and I and I can't go anywhere and my freaking car's on blocks. I can't feasibly be like, I bet the oil is bad. I bet I'm out of oil. It's just like there are no wheels. But we can't do that with the system. Something is broken, something fundamental. I can no longer drive my car. I can no longer something fundamental. I'm not saying it is, but I'm saying if People are saying it feels like it is, but we can't say, well, the wheels are gone because it's so complicated and so convoluted that it's just like, and then here's the deal. My question once again stands to BSG. Why? Here's the thing though. Here's what's hard is like, we still, we just don't know how the, how it's supposed to, we don't have a stated, this is the, uh, and I wish they would, I wish they would just, this is what we're going for with this system. This is what we're hoping is going to happen because we have no idea because, because then my question is why do all this when you also gave like four additional ways to just get one tap? If like this, the fact that we've even been talking about armor this long is so dumb because the average time to kill in this game is one second. And then how do you reconcile and that's an those average things? of point one to ten seconds? Yeah. Yeah. So how do you reconcile those things? How do you recognize reconcile the little the literal freaking Da Vinci code of trying to put together a ballistic system and all paths points to one tap by scav? It, it's well, it's worse than that though. Like and here's why. Again, I'm like 97 steps ahead with these conversations with like chat and shit in the community in that. And when I say I'm ahead, I mean like I, I'm fast forwarding. I don't, I don't mean like I'm five steps ahead. No, of yeah. I'm pink. But like you just like see where it's headed. But l let me put it to you this way. When when a formula is. The blunt throughput of a round is, you know, and I'm making this up like 27 X divided by three. Uh, multiplied by the resolve penetration of the bullet divided by a number that's clamped between 0.2 and 0.7 
multiplied by 100, then divided by the resolved d destructibility of the armor's material value, multiplied by 4, and then add 7 to it. And you give a QA guy a gun and a piece of armor, and you shoot it once? Yeah. Does this pass the ballistics test? Did we, did I make a system that works? Do we ship it? Yeah. No. I'll say this. There are no human beings that can... that. On planet Earth, including BSG's developers and testers, that could give you like a reasonable explanation for what to expect if I give you an armor and yeah. a bullet, and I say I shoot you in this location with yeah. these plates, this armor, what do you expect to happen? It's all just the roll of a dice based on formulas that are poorly understood. Yeah. And 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 each every impact has six giant variables that are functions with yeah. 27 variables yeah. in them. Yep. Yeah. So this is why things can be seemingly broken to everybody and how Nikita can go, I don't know it like, no, for things sure. Are, things are broken. Like, what do you mean? Yeah. Someone needs to, because no one knows. Yeah. And that's why I am so nihilistic and fucking for sure. depressed for sure. with all this shit because and I'm not even saying what I want them to have defined exactly what's going to happen if I shoot you in this armor. They 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 did this once or twice after this feedback was given. I'm not saying I gave it to them and they listened to me, but they did this a few times. Remember back in the like we celebrated it on the podcast where they made a few tweets where they were like, hey, we changed this thing. We are hoping that this happens. Like, uh -huh. that's what I wanted from the armor system. Like, what I wanted was, like, not this is going to happen when you shoot class 4 armor, but, like, we made this armor system. We are hoping that these changes together make armor a little bit more effective, but also make well-placed shots still extremely viable. It's like, okay, if the time to kill is 0.1 second all the time to PMC scab, then it's like, we can say, hey, this probably isn't the right, dire the right direction, right? So I'm saying yeah. super high level. Well-placed shots. I was aiming exactly yeah, for, for the armpit. armpit. Yeah, no. Um... And then, uh, and then, so, so the the last thing, anecdotally, once again, because no scientific tested, but I asked, I've asked a bunch of people this, and they all agree. At the end of the day, all of those calculations that are hard to figure out, all of those calculations that seem inconsistent, air wing and tower can stand in front of each other forty seven times, shoot each other, and every single time produce a different result. At the end of the day, and I asked Chat this, I was like, does anybody else feel like every single time? You get a kill, whether you one tap them or whether it's Omega potato fight. Every time you kill a guy and you go loot him, what's the durability of his armor? And everyone's like, it's always full. Less sub five points taken off the armor every time, no matter what. Always. It just, it, it like, it blows my mind. It's crazy. I keep... I feel like I'm I'm losing my mind. I keep killing people, and sometimes you one tap them right, and it's whatever. And some, but sometimes it's like, oh, I whiffed, I whiffed, I whiffed, reload, and then I'm like, oh, sick, and I go over, and their armor's one ninety nine out of two hundred and two, and I'm just like, what happened? And I just I was like I was like, am I going crazy, Chad? Do you feel? And everyone's like, yes. And once again, survivorship bias. I, I left all the armors behind that were busted, so I don't remember those. Like, I get all those are a thing, but it's just, I've noticed it too. When I get into a fight and I'm almost dead, I have like 11 HP and I'm like, oh my God. And I'm like, I'll, I'll even say it. You, you know what I haven't said? You know what I haven't said one time this wipe, Veritas, that I can remember? My armor's fried, guys. We got to go. I, I've, I don't, I haven't, you know, that cool situation we talked about where it was like, oh, my armor's fried and I take somebody else's plates. That's literally never happened. I've never taken someone else's plate and put it in mine. You I'm either died? dead or I end a firefight with 11 total HP and my armor's 197 out of 202. <laughs> well, okay. Every so wait a minute, time. wait a minute. So I'm trying to think of how to how do we resolve that? Does that not mean you either live or you die? Yeah. So so what's the alternative? The alternative is that I'm just trying to think of like what you would expect. 
I like, would expect the armor to save you and for you to have no like damage done, basically. No, I would have I would expect when I round the corner with eleven health that my armor is half durability or less. Cause I'm like, my armor must have saved me here. He hit me so many times. Or when I absolutely just full auto laser beam some dude crouch, you know what I mean? And I'm just like, blah, 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 like my whole mag into him and he dies and I go over and his armor is 50% durability or, or here's what I would have expected with the new system. I beam a dude, his back armor's completely fried. His front armor is totally fine, but it's never, it's just, it's just never like that. Like, so it's, so it is there a, and maybe this is the, and again, I haven't been playing, so yeah. I'm I'm trying to like come to this the back ass way. Yeah. So let's just say armor is just like way OP. Yeah. So you're fucking dying because you're getting 97 shots to your arms and That's your stomach. That's what it feels like. That's what I'm saying. And, and the, the armor is the armor is blocking every bullet. Yeah. And it's actually doing an incredible job. Yeah. It's just the ones that aren't, it's not blocking. Either one tap you through the hole or it's hitting your arm and it's blacking out your arm, blacking out your hitting your blacked out arm. And all of the body parts are just down, 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 down. In which case the armor is actually fucking OP. It's more OP than it should be. No, exactly. But that's what I'm saying is that it feels like armor, like it doesn't, it, it, it practically, it feels like armor is way too OP and you die to something else, but there's just never been a situation where it feels like the armor was damaged. Yeah. Does that make sense? It feels like every armor's class 14. And and every bullet is like PST GCH, where it's like every three hits, it takes one durability off. Right? So it's like... Are those... And those fights are long Yes. -ish. I they literally... Feel... I clipped one. I was on interchange, and it was like... I, I killed... It was a three-man. I killed two of them, and this last guy, and I was like... Bah, 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 bah. No, it is. Uh, once again... This isn't a claim about the system or the fun. It's a claim yeah, about yeah. not getting what anything you expect it to be. I have yeah, 7,000 yeah, yeah. hours of experience of when I shoot a guy a bunch, his armor's fried. When I get shot a bunch, my armor's fried. And when this system, I they set an expectation of like, there's going to be front plates and back plates and soft armor. And it's like, okay, okay, okay. I can apply what I would expect to this. I shoot a guy 52 times. I'm not expecting his armor to be zero durability, but I'm expecting that back plate where I shot him a bunch to be half durability or less and maybe one or two of the soft armor plates to be damaged. But then I look at the armor and everything is 100% durability except the back plate has two durability points off. The, Ar fight, the fight was more fun. Armor saved me. Like all those things aside, I'm just saying how I don't get it. I just don't yeah. get how on both ends when I get shot a bunch or when my teammate gets shot a bunch. I've never insurance farted an armor this wipe. Are you using high pen rounds yet? Or yeah, 30, like how, how does your pen compare to the armor class? Oh, it's all, yeah. It's all like, like most of the fights are class three or four armor with ammos that do 30 to 40 pen. Like it's, it's all in, the, it's all in the zone. It's, it's in, it's in the zone where like, if I shoot you four times in the armor, your armor should be hurting if it saved you. Well, okay. So, hmm. Because so back in the day, what we had was a bullet didn't pen the armor. It yeah. would do a little bit of blunt damage and a lot of ar armor damage. Yeah. It was basically like there were two fucking, there were two HP bars. Yeah, yeah, One yeah, for yeah. your armor. And it was either like, um, you know, bullets against against laser for shield sure. or laser against yeah, 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 steel. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. like... Um, or you know, or, or they were high pen, and it would pen and do almost no damage. Correct. But do to a the bunch, armor. But do almost full but, damage yeah. to your flesh, but not a lot of armor damage. And now it seems like, it seems as if the maybe again maybe it's bugged, and there's making no sense of it because it's yeah. bugged, or. Maybe they changed it so that armor damage is just turned way down. Yeah. Yes. Across the board, whether it blocks shots or not. Yes, that is what it feels like. It feels like what it feels like if you hit an armor and it doesn't pen, it doesn't do any armor damage or blunt damage. And so the fight becomes who shoots the other person in the arms 
or throat or armpit or face. Does, does that make sense? Like that's what you're yeah. describing. Once again, what you're just, I'm not saying what I'm feeling is inexplainable. What I'm saying is what I'm feeling doesn't seem at all the intention. Like, does yeah. that make sense? Like, there are yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah. explanations. You're exactly right. It feels like armor just doesn't take damage. So it either goes, yep, it blocked the shot, or no, it didn't block the shot. And that's the only thing now. Like, practically, we've talked about all this stuff, air wings testing and stuff like that. But what I'm saying is just what it feels like in a raid is that it's just a yes or no now. If the armor blocked the shot, the armor just blocked the shot, and maybe it took one durability point off. And if the armor didn't block the shot, you take a shit ton of damage. It's it's the same it's the same thing that we were talking about with the kill cams before, and that like sometimes you watch a kill cam, and I was like that was really fucking sus. You yeah. watch the kill cam, and you're like never mind. Yeah, exactly. totally fucking reasonable. Exactly. And other times you're like it, you, there was nothing weird at all until and you, then watch you watch the kill, the kill cam, cam yeah, and you're yeah. like, whoa, what the fuck, you know? Yeah. Um, which just leads to uh, nothing makes sense. Exactly. And. It's just like unhealthy for the community exactly. developer game relationship. Exactly. There was no expectation and, of what this was supposed to be. And it's a complete like like I'm not even saying that what I'm feeling there is an unintended thing. I'm saying I don't. How the hell would I know? I have seven like uh, like Veritas. Yeah, it, it comes back to a feeling thing. I don't have any scientific testing. If like. You've played enough. You don't enough. need, you I've don't need scientific enough. testing to feel yeah. like something's wrong. And that's what I'm saying. Is that like Veritas? I haven't had a zeroed out armor yet this wipe. I haven't found a zeroed out armor yet this wipe. I haven't gotten a zeroed out armor in insurance back this wipe. I've never had to repair an armor more than 10 durability. And it's it's early, but I have 300 raids. Like, and, and I, and, and once again, I'm not even saying that me not ha having that experience is unintended. But what I'm saying is that it's a vast departure from what we had before when I thought what we were getting was, I thought the departure was um, ammo is going to act similarly. It's just going to be in more places now, right? Like you're going to have a plate in the back and a plate in the front. And that plate in the front would act similarly. Class four, round with 38 pen, you know, if it doesn't pen, it's going to chunk that armor out. Like I, I, I was under the impression like, okay, it's going to, but it, but it doesn't feel that way. And I don't well, know if that's a bug. Now we have 70 pen bullets not being stopped by class, a class four three and a class two layered on top of each other. That shouldn't happen. So it, it makes me like, yeah. I almost want to say it's completely broken. Most likely. And all we need is like a handful of like two or three clips of the craziest shit, right? Like the most asinine. Yeah. Um, 70 pen through a, yeah. a, a pack and the pack stops it. It's like, okay, yeah, something's wrong. I'm going to assume nothing will make sense until they come up with a patch with, with an explanation as to what yeah. they fix. And that's kind of where I'm at because like, because once again, when you, you made a very fair assessment of that, where I was telling you about that interchange fight, you were like, that sounds fun. And I'm like, you're absolutely right. But if, if I then go down that path of assuming that that's the fun they intended, why did they add the thorax and the hip? And the, like, you know what I mean? If that's the fun they were going for, which is armor being so effective that firefights are extended, then why have I died to head throat to scavs just a truly innumerable <laughs> amount of times? Like, and it goes back last week. I said the, it, it, the ends of the spectrum both went this way. There are way more opportunities to get one tapped and there are way more opportunities to tank a bajillion rounds. And you know what that and that and that just provides a shit experience for people you, who don't listen to three hour podcasts about this stuff. And much to the dismay of all the realism Andes out there um, and all the hardcore. I love the fucking that I need a wiki to like tie yeah. my fucking shoes. Imagine a game where your entire body is one HP pool where yeah. you have either armor or no armor. And that's all it is, is basically another HP pool on top of your HP pool. Yeah. And then imagine every bullet, every gun does. It either has more damage and shoots slower. Yeah. Or it has less damage and it's shoots faster, a lot really yeah. fast. It's all the fucking same. Like the experience is. 
the time to kill is, you know, yeah. on average 0.8 seconds if you hit all your shots. And yeah, which which again just makes me say like what what makes Tarkov so great is the atmosphere, the gun customization, yeah. the the whole vibe, right? But the thing that a lot of people point to, the the arbitrary bullshit needless complexity yeah. isn't what makes it great it's what makes it more likely to be broken without yeah. anybody knowing how or why and it's how we have bugs for literal years like your head being blacked out and thorax being blacked out and nikita doesn't know about it yeah. when it's until i mention it on a podcast with him and he goes wait what yeah and once That's again you get and on top of that complexity we have no idea what they want out of the game like, if you go play squad, you know what they're going for. You know what I mean? Like, mill sim, you know, they got the different radio channels. You know what they're going for. They're pretty clear about that. You played Insurgency Sandstorm. You know that that was a little bit more of a, like, arcade version. But, like, we just have... I, I, I see all these changes, and I have no idea if they're intended. I have no oh. idea if they're uh serving a goal i have no idea if they're trying to lean into that complicated realism or lean away from it because they do both at the same time every patch they make it more <laughs> and less realistic and then then i don't know what to say to the realism andy because it's like i don't even know if they're i don't know yeah so let me like lightly push back against knowing what they want whether it's realism or whether it's yeah. like you'd have fun or to have more like if Nikita said we want you to have more fun with fights and to have them like last longer on out like yeah that from a really high level will never tell you if it's working right that's the problem mm. when when Valorant there's a fucking b dummy that you know what the bullets do yeah you can see the numbers pop up you know how much HP like yeah it it's clear these sure. systems are so complicated that like Nikita could tell you in the greatest detail, like he was writing a novel, yeah. the experience you want, you still will never know if any of these systems are working. And it's because of how complicated the systems are. I don't and care if the systems are working or not. That's separate to me. If the system is not working, that's a bug they need to figure out if the system is working. What I'm saying is that if the system is working, I don't know if it serves, I don't know what purpose it serves. Because what it feels like sometimes is they add, they add, my character gets IBS and it's like, oh man, this is really realistic. And also loot pinatas fall from the sky and I have to break it with my Fortnite pickaxe in the same patch. And I go, what are we doing? And then, and then if we can argue about if the pickaxe is bugged and it's supposed to take four hits to break the loot pinata, but it's taking five hits. And I, and I'm saying, I don't. I'm saying it matters if the pickaxe is bugs, but what matters more is like, what are we doing? Do we want Fortnite or do we want squad? Do we want like, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. It's like they, they add the, the spectrums keep drifting farther away from each other. And at each level of the spectrum, we can have conversations about, is this system working? Is it a bug? Is it intended? But what I'm saying is like, what are we doing? They just keep getting farther and farther away from each other. And the experience never changes. <laughs> the experience is always in the... It's just one second time to kill. And I just like yeah. I just don't understand it. I, I think... And this might be wrong, but, like, it seems pretty clear to me that what we have is a situation where it's a cool idea. Yeah. Partially based on realism. With the thought of like, oh, I could build this cool system that would be modular and customizable and it'll probably do cool stuff to the time to kill. But like, even if Nikita had this vision, there's no way, I promise you, there's no way. Yeah. They really knew what the result was going to be. Yeah. Because again, it's, you have these crazy nebulous formulas yeah. that are all 97 nested formulas where one variable is a formula where another variable is a, nobody, Nikita yeah. never knew whether or not he just had the idea of like conceptually yeah. that should lead to the ability to kill people in certain For situations. Sure. For sure. So, so it's like the, I, Nikita's grand plan was, I don't know, just fucking cool. And I yeah. thought maybe it, yeah, it yeah, could, yeah. conceptually could make stuff cool. Yeah. And, and it, it's not any more complicated. If this was Jonathan blow, 
Yeah. He would be able to tell you in detail what his goal was, how he got there, and whether or not he accomplished it yeah. every step of the way. We're so fucking far removed from yeah, that ever being wrong. the case in Tarkov. And that's, again, to like rewind all the way back to, that's why my soul hurts when I have these conversations, yeah. because it doesn't make sense, and it's probably not working. It might be working, and if it was working, it could still be an accident. And yeah. even then, the outcome probably wasn't intentional, and it's all a fucking accident. Yep. So no, for sure. And that's why it's funny because at the beginning of this conversation, you were like, really <laughs> like, well, this could be explained by this. And, this, and then we end the conversation where you're like, there's enough shit going on. You're like, it's just easiest to say it's broken. It's br And that's exactly where everybody is. And nobody knows how to test it or what to test or what to do. Everybody and, just and my, knows it feels broken. Yeah. And my, and my, uh, my initial response to be clear was to the one tweet that I saw yeah, that was, I have no idea how to make sense of this. And then outlining something that made perfect sense to me. That's the only reason why I mentioned that. Yeah. That's, that literally, that one tweet 21 hours ago was the only one I've seen. And you were like, and no, then, that does make people, sense. Yeah. And then people coming into chat saying, armor's broken. And I'm like, oh my God, fucking kill me now. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, going to yeah, have yeah. to get roped in. At, and this is two days after everyone saying, Pestley's video said, contacts don't fucking provide you this. Oh, did you see the clip of fucking someone yeah. else testing the, the headphones and whatever? And, and I literally, I see one test done and the test fails to account for 97 things and all the comments are explaining it with things that don't explain it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, no, not yeah, again, yeah, you not saw, again. I, but then when you see, but then through the conversation, when you see all of like crazy inconsistencies where it goes back to the cheating conversation, if you look at everybody's stats, if you look at the stats, we go back to the cheating conversation and you just zone in on KD where you're like, well, that can be an explainable KD. But, or if you just zone in on how many raids they've done, you're like, well, that can be explainable. And it's like, zoom out, baby. And then you're like, okay, the, the picture together seems scuffed. You know what I mean? And that's where it's yeah. at. Like you saw that one thing and then I'm like, what are this and this? And I don't understand this and I don't understand this and I don't understand this. And then it's like, holy shit. It just seems so scuffed. Yeah, this is the one thing's explainable. Everything else is completely and utterly fucking broken. Yeah. And so it's like, I don't yeah. know. Now, this is a great segue. Oh, God. To our next sponsor for that. And I'm going to take a second and thank the sponsor, Better Help. Dog, I'm I need I need fucking therapy. Literally thinking about this feels like it drives me to needing therapy. Um no, Better Help is awesome. It's an online platform where you can get uh therapy or counseling. Uh it's the new year and I know that a lot of times a lot of people, you know, feel that uh I feel like it, it was it's it's subconscious pressure almost now. You know what I mean? I feel like New Year's resolutions aren't really a thing anymore, but there's still this subconscious just like... New Year, new me. New Year, new me. And, and you know what it is now? What I feel? It's less New Year, new me and more of like, I'll I'll worry about that when I get through the holidays. Does that make sense? It's not necessarily about... It's January 1 Pressure's now. on now, baby. Yeah, I'm going to do this, but it's it's more of like, I give, the, I give myself the excuse of like, it's been... Dude, it's holidays. It's wipe time. It's whatever. I'll... I'll deal with that and then it happens and then it hits. You know what I mean? So we've talked at length, you know, many times in the podcast about how many reasons there could be for wanting somebody to talk to. Um, but, but that's one of them, you know, we're, we're in the new year. And if you're feeling down about not accomplishing a goal you wanted to accomplish, maybe you just thought you'd be in a different place this time last year. You know what I mean? Like um, having somebody to talk through, talk to, can be extremely helpful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and and you know, like like we've said before, um, ha having somebody to talk to about so many things in your life, whether it's relationship stuff, whether it's work stuff, whether it's online video game stuff, whether it's because you have a uh, traumatic relationship with a video game that you stream every day <laughs> of your life, and and the community and the whole parasocial interactions. Yeah. Um, just being able to talk to someone, I, I can't, if you've never experienced, I can't overstate enough how, how incredible it is. Even, even if like absent the other person giving you feedback, you just talking out loud Speaking. and saying yeah. what you're thinking out loud yep. is, is, in, is insanely helpful. And yep. you will, you'll be able to actually like look inside and uh and see yep. a lot of the things that 
are either shortcomings, things you need to work on, or perspectives that you haven't seen before. But having a place like BetterHelp where you can actually talk to someone who's like a professional that deals with this stuff, that can give you feedback, yep. that can help. Um, I mean, it's it's literally life changing. It is, and uh, it's huge. Yeah. It's huge. It's uh, we've both had experiences with it. It's changed both of our lives. Uh, I've been through it. Having that person to talk to, I mean, literally, like my life would be in a very different spot. So, uh, and there's also there's a lot of really cool reasons to go with BetterHelp. It being entirely online is really is really nice. Being able to you just fill out a simple questionnaire, you get matched with somebody, you can switch that uh, to a different person anytime you want, which is so helpful because it's so important that you're with someone that you vibe with that you feel like you can get which to that I place. Did. I yeah. did the first the first person I I had a, a meeting with. Um, it was like I didn't feel like he understood any of the things. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and he was like a younger ish guy. And I thought that would have been the perfect. Yeah. Like he gets, you know, maybe he'll get the video game stuff. Maybe he'll get and we just didn't jive. Yeah. And I almost like, OK, I, get, I guess I give up. Right. Yeah. But I went through the I want to try to find someone else. It was like four clicks. Yeah type a little thing in boom i had an appointment within minutes uh scheduled for like a few days later yeah i had my meeting and that's who i have had therapy with for three years just over three years now yeah, that's crazy um that's and crazy. yeah it, it couldn't have been easier more convenient <laughs> and, that, and that's massive yep so that flexibility that convenience uh is huge and uh and and yeah makes a big difference so um, you can celebrate the progress that you've already made this year and visit betterhelp.com slash podcast to get 10% off your first month. That is betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash podcast. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this episode. You know, someone just asked, does your therapist watch your streams? I, like, legitimately, there are times where I think, like, if I could clip the last, like, 10 minutes of what I experienced, and then also like the chat interaction. One of these days, I and I've been kind of procrastinating on this. One of these days, I will do that. That would be just. Mint. I think that would be valuable context. Yeah. For for her. Uh, for sure. Yeah, um. So uh, <laughs> a few a few final things here. Um. I know that the armor stuff is like controversial and frustrating and confusing and and whatever but i will say that this wipe is still super fun and they're continuing on their role of w's it seems as though they are getting rid of rid of global limits and keeping I personal heard that, limits. yeah they they, fu they fucked it up initially by removing the per the individual limits and, and, well both They've removed both. <laughs> so you could just buy unlimited whatever. But like, that's a W. Now, to put it in context, like you said, it's a W that's probably relatively simple to do and something we've been begging for for literal years. But I can't help but just be like, dude, they're just kind of on a roll here of like making changes that we've been wanting for a long time. So they rolled it back because I got to figure out why when they press the button, it took away the global limits and the trader limits, but it seems as though that's going to be, um, it seems as though that that's going to be a thing, which is sick. Um, another thing that, uh, I just haven't really noticed until the more I play, but I hadn't realized how much just changing the recoil makes fixes so many scopes. Like, you know what I mean? It's like those things are so easily separated in your brain because even with like a dope meta gun a few wipes ago, you know, last wipe, if you were like, oh, the TAC-30 is gross. Oh, the Valde is gross or whatever. But it's like so much of that is because when the gun recoiled, it went up instead of back, which introduced a bunch of scope shadow. And it's just like weird and bad. Um, it's it's so good. Like the TAC-30 is great. The Elcan I'm using all the time now. The Valde is back, dude. I put the Valde on an M4 today, and I was just like full auto. Brrr, like it just it feels okay. Not on not on the Ash 12. So full good. auto. <laughs> oh well. Love... Yeah. Oh, is that an arena kit? The Ash 12 with a Valde? Yeah, it's actually not. It's actually not that bad. But yeah. uh But but there were a few a few times where like yeah, 
I died because of the shadowing. Yeah. Oh, made yeah. It really, made it really hard yeah. to adjust. But there was yeah. um, what scope was that? I don't remember. There was one where just uh, I can't remember which one it was. Damn it! There was one where just standing still, and you just QE, just go like this, and. At no point can you see through the scope. It the scope shadow goes all the way and completely blacks out the scope, and then you lean the other way. And it, I know the Val Day was like that. They all used to be like that. It's not as bad anymore. And but the they, HHS was also like the, the reticle would be like. Rah, yeah. Rah, rah, rah. But uh, there's one that still does that. Um, but like the LKN is super tight now. The Val Day was much better. Uh, and dude, it, it's just so good. So. And th that was another thing I noticed where I was like, that's sick. Where like the recoil update fixed, you know, quote unquote, fixed a bunch of the scopes. They added a few new scopes. They had another LPVO. Oh, they added another red dot, by the way. Uh, so BSG of them. So BSG of them. There's a new red oh, dot, by no. the way. Oh, um, is it the one everybody kept talking about? That's like, this is the new PK06. You remember the old PK06 dot? It's just that. It is. It's not like... The Pika, it's, it is that. It's just like a, a one pixel. Yes. Red. Red dot. The thing is though, is that it's like, it's now on an optic that has like four different modes. I guess the PK06 had a bunch of different modes too. Everyone would switch it to the dot. I think it had three. Um, yeah. yeah. So it has three. I think it has a laser built in, which I don't think anyone will use. Uh, and actually some of the other modes seem kind of cool. Like I feel like I'd use them, but it's so funny because like that will be all anyone uses. And like, then why did you change the PK06? Change the PK06. This is why. Because in real life, everybody was using it. Nikita is anti meta. Yeah. In principle, not in practice, because no. he doesn't think that he's, when you add something that's good, that people will only ever use the good thing. Yeah. But then refuses to balance things to make them all equal. But again, yeah. it's like he's, he's on step two, not seven. Yeah. Um, but because he hated that that's all everybody used and that with all the diversity, no one was using it. And well, I can just make it so that people are going to have to use other things. And my justification is that it's an airsoft site in real life. So it's bad. Yeah. That was the thing. It's like, I feel like it was that it was the real life. It's like, well, it's not, it's bad in real life. And it's like, dude, because there was absolutely no variety after. You either had a voodoo or an or uh um what's that brand? Well it was the Valde or the um Well it was the Valde, then they killed the Valde. Yeah, then they killed the Valde and then it was the one to the four X, X which XPS, was yeah. Um well before that it was the um the Burris full field. Yep. But then they made that not as good. It used to it used to be like housing was like yeah almost the top and the bottom of the screen and the dot was like smaller yep and then they made it so that then it was smaller and the dot was bigger so it blocks just a, it blocks yep. just enough that it like doesn't feel good past a certain range to use as a 1x yep um but i mean you know what i want and through all those metas as soon as they block the pk06 for for 1x's it's just been the xps 3-0 for years now the LPVO meta has changed. It was the Valde, and then it was the Burris, and then it was the Voodoo, then it was the Voodoo and the Razor. It was the Burris first. Oh, yeah, then the Valde. Yeah, yeah. And, but since they since the day they made the change to the PK06, it's been exclusively the XPS3. And and then they just put the PK06 back and made it more expensive because that's Wait, balanced. Is the PK06 like the old way? No, but the new the new site. That's what I'm saying. It's like they effectively just put the PK06 back because they just oh, added oh, a new oh, scope yeah. with the old PK06 thing and just made it slightly more expensive. And it's like, yeah, of course, is that that's balance? I guess. Well, I don't know. We know how they feel about balance. Yeah, because of the fucking arena arena balancing they did, which was oh to yeah, make, they made the all of the free. the ranked kits free, which it literally it's it's a W for the people who were out of money. Yeah. I, my money has just always gone up, but that's because I got ahead of the tidal wave. If yeah. You, if if you got into like a negative spiral, it's a negative spiral, and you will never yeah. get out of it. Yeah. You'll never get out of it with the current system. If you just got ahead of it, you're yeah. just taken by the wave. Yeah. Um. 
but uh but yeah like so so people who run out of money now can use free kits that aren't just a tt yeah now it's like a stm with ap yeah. and a red but dot which is like ranked... infinitely better yeah yeah i don't know but nobody will none of the rank kits are any good there's no reason to use them you make no progress on them etc yeah. etc um but uh really what i want them to do now more than anything it's like it's more and more playing arena spending 98 percent of my time yeah. in fights i'm realizing how annoyed i am by how bulky all of the fucking housings are yeah on all the optics i wish they would just take the optics and just make them 35 percent opacity because that's what happens when you're shooting with two eyes open oh is you have like you have it's like when you look down at your nose you yeah. see like two kind yeah. of ghost versions of your but you can see past it yeah i like i want that because what I what I end up having to do is I can't hold a corner. I have to hold some awkward yes. off thing so that because when I hold the corner, the housing is blocking the like doorway on the left and the doorway, the passageway on the right. Yeah. So I'm constantly like, eh, eh. yeah, when, when you should like, just be able to see that. Why are you aiming at the floor? It's like because I want to be aimed in, but I want to see everything. I can flick faster than missing somebody in the housing of my gun yeah, and my optic. Yeah. And then a bunch of the optics that have like clean, like clean housings, the dots are blurry, yep. like the PKO six, where it's like I would hold the angle with the dot, but there, a guy could lean and shoot, and and the dot would cover his entire yeah, lean and yeah. shoot. Um. <sighs> yep. Yep. <laughs> um. Yeah. Interesting stuff. Uh. Insurance is super scuffed. Uh, insurance is like taking like seven to 10 days to show up. <laughs> like people are getting insurance back from like day four of the wipe right now. And some people are getting, some people are getting the message from proper like, Hey man, I can't keep your stuff forever. I'm keeping it. But they never got the opportunity to get it. <laughs> so it's just eating it, it. It's basically a confirmation that there you did get stuff back in insurance, but we're not going to give it to you, which is just like salt in the wound because you can kind of justify maybe somebody took it. But it's like, hey, I can't keep all this stuff here for you forever, man. And it's like, yeah, well, give it to me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cancer. Yeah. Um, that's so fucked. Same thing with uh, the BTR um sending stuff to your stash like it's like a quest line right i need the salua but it takes four days to get to get back to your stash um oh so toxic another w they made was they increased the size of the btr stash what you could send because remember i said that i thought it was too small and they made it linked with your scav karma so if you have max scav karma uh -huh. which makes sense because scavs drive the btr if you have max scav karma it's like six by four or six by five like you could put some stuff in there like it's a it's pretty big that's sick yeah okay now i i do have to say though it doesn't exactly make sense seeing as how your scab is a totally different human being well that you of play. course yes <laughs> so of course but i that's of one course. that's one of those things that like realism andy's forget yeah that there are sometimes these like yeah massive suspension of disbelief things that's like yeah oh Yes. I'm just being a pedantic douchebag. But no, I love it's like, it. You're like, yeah, that makes sense. I'm like, wait, that doesn't yeah. really make sense. It makes sense. You're yeah. It like, it's like, if any scav is interacted with, we can be like, that makes sense. Because <laughs> yeah. scav, you know, like. Unless like, unless like the scav is like your brother, like yeah. your homeless crackhead brother. Yeah. That then like when he helps, he does good things. Everybody knows like, oh, that's fucking Rackham Willie's. <laughs> Uh, actual PMC brother. Yeah. Respect to him because fucking we love Rackman. 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 Rack uh, yeah. Um. Damn, I want a Rack and Willie skin on. Hell yeah! What if Rack and Willie drove the BTR and you hopped in? Imagine rather than Dicky Needles, just Rack Rackman. Rack 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 Rackmall. Rack 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 Rack. Ball. That'd be great. I want that on F1. That would be great. Um, I think that's it, pretty much. Uh, 
spawns are still extremely toxic in every map. And because so many people are playing, every map is full. And so the spawns are just like so very bad. Um, and uh, oh, and like some of the stuff we talked about before where it's like, you know, we, we said that like armor ammos are like super hard to get like 762 PS is like level three proper and like LPS and stuff like that. 33 seconds into a streets raid, you can die to a uh, player scav with a full auto AVT with 15 rounders shooting LPS. Like it's just AI scav or no player, player scav. scav. That's what I'm saying. Like 38 seconds, like literally like two or three minutes into a streets raid, player scavs are spawning. They're spawning with gear, with ammos that they literally can't buy off the traders <laughs> because of their too low level. It's just so, it's just the whole thing seems so scuffed. But, um, yeah. hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Rack them. Rack them. <laughs> Rack a ball. Rack a ball. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much it. I am level 41. I'm so close to max trainers and I will swiftly stop questing <laughs> once I get to level 42. And, uh, I'm excited to like get to the real game. Um, I'm level 45. Hell yeah, Just dude. saying, wait, on my stats page, there's a thumbs down icon. What the fuck does this one thumbs down? What does that mean? Who gave me, who gave my profile a thumbs down? What does, what this does that mean? even mean? Yeah. It's, there's like, oh, I think that was quit. I have oh. one match quit. That must have been it. And I didn't even quit. It was like, you've been disconnected. And I tried to reconnect for like 45 minutes on the first day of arena. And I'm like, I, I guess I just can't reconnect. And I'm like, I guess I'll just go back to the main menu. And it was like, bitch, 10 minute time. Oh, out. Yeah. You I'm like, no, are you kidding? Oh yeah. I remember that. I remember that. Oops. I didn't mean to do that, but that was appropriate. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That is the Tarkov news, the arena news. It feels good to be having lots to talk about. And, uh, you know, for all the, for all the garbo that we put, put up with i mean it's still still the best wipe in a omega long time cool to see them following it up with some small dubs i hope that they address some of the things like the insurance it just feels like that would be something you would want to address quicker than they are but hey um but yeah so thank you guys thanks for hanging with us thank you to better help and hello fresh for sponsoring the episode if you want more like this then let me Check introduce you to the PP, which is patreon.com slash the podcast pod. Whoa! Where we uh, record extra episode every week. You get early access to these episodes. And uh, if you can imagine this, but more unhinged. I don't know what to tell you. That's that's basically what you get. So uh, we got to do like once a month a drinking edition. Oh. We should. I'm literally going. I, I just bought a six pack. I haven't had beer in my fridge in a while. Oh and uh, I just bought a six pack. I'm going to bust it open. I'm going to have a fucking one and a half blue moons, but I'm going to be loose. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be loose. Hell yeah, dude. Um, But yeah, thank you guys for hanging. We appreciate you guys. Podcast after dark could be lit. Could be. That could be sick. Um, But you guys are the best. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll definitely see y'all on the next one. Adios, amigos.